Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Yes. And today we're going to be playing four, four. Atari 2600 Woo! games, including an exclusive world, <clears throat> premiere, like an exclusive world premiere from the one and only Armscar Coda. Oh, excellent. With his third game. Yes. And it's called Tumblers. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, his other two games are 4K. This one is 2K. Ooh, even smaller. He's crunched down the fun into 2K. Crunch it down. Uh, other Can games you? we're going to be playing. Ding, ding. Oh, oh, I don't have Thank everything Thank you, Gamadav. Oh, no. Let I me, saw it. Let me load everything else I up. I saw it. I am prepared. Uh, probably, oh. probably for Minigun yeah. Miner. That's the one that's going to make me... Uh, rage reset rage a lot. Rage reset. Yeah. Uh, let me load up the program that makes the ding-dings. Yeah. So that these cats will be... Get the catnip. Get the catnip and get very excited about where is it. The, where is the baby? Where did he go? He's on the balcony. He is he still on the balcony? to be very happy there. I'm going to have to ring the bell to get him downstairs. So let me see. He doesn't know the schedule. Atari <laughs> is right here. Atari knows the schedule. Atari is like ready for treats. He sits you. still figuring Party things time out. for kittens. Cats, 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 cats. That'll get the... There he there is. is! It's party time for kittens. Cats, Thanks cats, to cats. Gamma Dev. Right. Cats, we have some, cats, cats. We have some uh, treat coasters for them. Treat coaster one, treat coaster two. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gamma Dev is trying to influence... Uh -huh. The outcome of a future bell game. Um, because last show, Sid won by three in the first round, and then Atari destroyed him, ten to five. That was that was a big upset. We didn't think that would happen after um, Sid won by one the other games, <laughs> and then uh, and then. A, and then one by three, we thought he was just going to get more go. and more ahead of Atari. <laughs> um, and we're also going to be playing... Oh, my voice is so... Yeah, your poor so, voice. Eh. Oh, my goodness. Then we're going to be playing The Wall, uh, and we're going to be playing Jump, Jump, put with an X. Put him on, put him on. Oh, put on the cats. Put yes, on. sorry. Just for a little bit. Yes. Roly-poly cats. Roly-poly cat, yeah. at least. He scared off Atari. So I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who yes. are gently scrolling up beside Tanya. Well, not well, right now. Not, not in this screen, but in the next <laughs> one. other screen. Andrew Atari, I'm Scar Coder, Atari 1974, Atari, HPR, PR, Pocop, Brutus Dex, Captain Class, Chelston Mail, Charles Willen, Chitlala, Cubanismo, uh, Dionoi, Dr. Mookhouse, Eric Cart, uh, Great Defender, Araldo Ju, JG, Gianni WC, Computer Coder, Carl G, Karakak, Croco 2600, Valtfer, Lambay Express, Mighty Sipic Team, Mark Yannis, Spark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, McTell, Miss Command, Mim, K Smith, Mist Fix, Muddy Funster, Neo Mini, Nostalgia Core, Arantruitz, uh, Coag, Arantruitz, Rendered Ghost, Brentless, Fiji, Raven Tuli, Ricardo, Pim, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Spice Wars, Spinley S, Ramirez, Tiki Dan K, Trek, MD. Thank you for resubscribing! Oh. Uh, Tweeny VexRx, VVG Double Down, and X Ken X, and thank you, Vintage Gaming Memories, Yay. for subscribing. And if you would like to subscribe, just like Vintage Game Memories and Rendered Ghost did, and Al Nefer and Dan AVC did just before the show started, nice. you can. Wow, or if you've let lot. your uh, subscription lapse, yeah. um, you can hit subscribe. Yes. It is free with Amazon Prime. It's somewhere on your screen. I don't know. <laughs> Depends if you're using if an you app. If you hit subscribe or... and then you have to hit with, there's like a toggle with Amazon Prime if it's oh, on your phone, for yes. example. It's very complicated. Yeah. They don't make it easy to find the Switch. No, they want you to pay money. They want you to pay money, but yeah, so if look for that Switch. If everyone you have gets a Prime. free subscription That's each free. month. Thank you, Gamma Dev. Yay, Gamma Dev. And thank you for subscribing with Prime and using your your subscription for us. We oh yeah, it does save it. subscribe. With it Prime. does. It yeah. does. Yeah. See, it costs you nothing. Yeah. And it supports these cats. And look at this in guy. Their catnip habit. Look and at this. He is. He he's has. He's calling out a frame. A problem. He has, he has a, a catnip problem. <laughs> yeah, he it's does. bad. Yeah. It's real Look bad. Look at this guy. Um, so uh, we don't have the trophies. Uh, where are they? Do you want to bring them down? Oh, all of them? Or just You've like got them separated now, ten? of course. Ten? Should I get ten? Uh, I'll get a chunk of them. Sure. Bring the big chunk, okay. please. We're just finishing off with these little 
Yes, they're all done. Yes, it's uh, people won them in February, but now they are ready in August and we're going to be shipping them out very soon. It's just they're all done. They're all molded. There just needs to be some tiny fixes on some of them. Um, and then we'll ship them off to all the amazing developers that won them for their games last year. Um, and speaking of games, there's going to be a bunch of game demos. Oh, no, she's got them. So okay. this is only a small portion of them. This is, should I put them on the ground? Or do you, uh, yeah, you can put them on the ground right there. Okay, let's put some. Can you see them? Uh, out of that place. Oh, yeah, that's really. The camera can't see that. Yep, there you go. Okay. The cat's like more catnip. More catnip. more catnip? They might have catnip on them. He wants to snort the catnip they off the have, trophies. <laughs> they might have catnip on them when you receive them. Yeah, bonus and catnip. And a tiny bit of cat hair. A little bit of cat hair. There we go. Um, turned around would be better. Turned around? Because they're oh. upside down. Yes, we can think about... Hey, don't ruin them. I just made those. <laughs> there we go. Good luck on reading names, but they're there. Fresh resin. <laughs> yes. Like, ta like tap handles, like for beer. Oh, you could. <gasps> Ooh, there yes. Tanya made resin trophies. Yes. So authenticity. There. That's right. That's how you. Uh, that's how you confirm their authenticity. If there's a little bit of cat DNA in there, yes, you're good to go. They're 100 <laughs> percent real. If they yeah. have. He's so bit cute. Of <laughs> Sid, cat DNA. Yeah. Oh my. He's oh. attacking them. Okay. They're very resilient. They are very resilient. Should yeah. I? Bring one to the light here? Uh, sure, just show one of them. Here. Which this one is it? This looks like John Shampoo's. Oh, John Shampoo. There you go. <laughs> what a surprise. Yes, so they're sparkly. They've got sparkles. They've got names in gold. Yes. Customized. They're, they are customized with they're names. Old. Yes. Thank you for subscribing. Yes. Concord Ranger. Yes. They are made with love. Cat love. Lots of love. Lots of cat Pick love. another one here. Sure, show a random one. This one is for Time Stuff, Wizard by uh, Amrock. Congratulations. Um, so those will be sent out very shortly. I will be messaging the developers. Thomas Yench, congratulations. On what game? Button Tom. Button Tom. Okay, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to show them all. Yeah, they do look very beautiful. Tanya did an excellent job Thank on them. Thank you so much. They uh, took a long time. <laughs> Thank you. So first up, what did you do? Follow. Following. He subscribed before he followed. Um, Sid is uh, coveting one of them, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so you have to tell a story at some point of Sid and his, oh, you his can. coveting of things. At, during the show. Yeah, during the show. Let's get to the news. We've got um, Sid is hiding one. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's yes. very good at hiding them. So, um, uh, Albert announced on Sunday uh, the some of the demos that are going to be shown nice. at PRGE. So here they are so far. We'll have demos of upcoming games at this year's Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I'll be using the thread to post information about each work-in-progress game that will be making an appearance at the booth. This list doesn't include new games being released at the show, those will also be set up to play. Here's a current list of games. I have linked the relative thread, blah, blah, blah. Um, so these are games that are not done yet, but they're close to being done, enough to show off. One we'll be playing tonight, Minigun Miner. Mm -hmm. uh, so Frantic, uh, that's been worked on for a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, Frantic, Minigun Miner, Oh Shoot, Pas de Deux, Pop Box Arena, which has not been released. We Maybe we'll play it before mm. PRG. Maybe we'll play it at PRG. There you go. Uh, Robot Tito Shattered Earth, Word Guest, Blockum Sockum, Cartesian Chaos, Ducks Away, Game of the Bear, Polar Opposites, Fantasia, Rat Trap, Space Peril, uh, which we're playing very soon. Uh, Stone Age and Wilf. And he has already added those to this list. I'll update this list as, as additional games are added. It's possible I'm missing a game or two on this list. If I told you I was doing a demo game and you don't see it here, please let me know and I'll update, update the list. If you're currently working on a new game for the 2650, 270, 800 Jaguar Lynx or Atari 8 bit and you're interested in demoing at the show, please send me a private message and we can uh -huh. talk. So, this is what's going to show, at, show at, in the booth? Yes. Okay. Or as Beer so, Pocock says, or not at, at all close to that. Yeah, so Beer, Beer Pocock <laughs> so, is more of a, a, a demo. demo. That's uh, fair enough. Work That's in progress, enough. early, early yeah, demo. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. We still want to see it. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, 
so yeah if you have one that you're working on message al on atari age albert and uh let him know and more updates to, for exo where is it there we go so this has been updated a few more details about what's included in the collector's edition of exo so it was a uh, early screenshot before but now there's some more screenshots of the cover looks absolutely gorgeous oh no it's smaller there we go it's a very small picture that he uploaded it <laughs> some back screenshots this is of the uh collector's edition so you get the collector's edition big box which is a normal box i believe but it comes in a special box too mm. a box inside a box box inside box. collector's edition exo box with new artwork nice. new label uh artwork sits inside the big box so it's a box inside a box nice. <laughs> collector's edition goodie box sits inside the big box to nice. store all the exo goodies nice. so there's there's boxes and three boxes, boxes? <laughs> oh my god so what goodies are in the box exo unit patch mm. exo making of feature booklet mm -hmm. EXO novella, Betrayal, Ooh. telling the story leading up to the events of EXO. I want to read the novella. Yeah, EXO dog tag and audio CD. Can you stop him from chewing that He's cable? He's not chewing very... cable. He's rubbing against no, the cardboard. No, he just was. Okay, I saw enough, him. enough. He's very I naughty. I know you want treats. I know. We'll uh, get there. We'll get there. Uh, audio CD with the full game score and a poster. Nice. So um, we don't see any of those goodies. We see the cartridge and the box in the box but not the box for the goodies um and he showed the outer well, that's a fake one that's the outer box that contains the two boxes <gasps> Ooh, i like the outer box yes very nice <laughs> it's kev says boxes all the way down <laughs> so this is uh the box of pain which is not included yeah, yeah. uh vitoka says no cart inside the boxes <laughs> no there's no cart boxes. no there's a cart right there <laughs> very nice yeah it doesn't actually nice. list the cart. It the cart. List the cart. Anywhere. No, that's funny. But you get new cart label artwork, so you just get the artwork for the cart. <laughs> the sticker. You have to label it on top of your existing Your old EXL. cart. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that should be amended. Yeah. Is, that's, that's extra. extra. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. Hilarious. Cat, uh, can you not destroy couches? He's being a menace. Yeah, he is. Usually it's the Okay, other one. you guys get one more chance. Oh, one my goodness. One more chance to figure out my tattoo. Oh my and I'm going to give you such a huge hint today yeah. that you're going to just kick yourself for not figuring it out the last two episodes. Okay, so let's bring up the tattoo again. There is the tattoo. One, two, three, four, five. That's the uh, combination. Um, and let's bring up a calculator that I'll put on the screen as well. And we're going to switch it over to Programmer mm. Calculator. Mm. Hey, Strawberry System! Strawberry System Thank 22. you for raiding! Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Yes. Oh, Alina chat. from Atari Age. Welcome, Alina. Oh, I was doing some Game & Watches. That's oh, really? exciting. Oh, wow. Was it... Um, was it emulation or actual physical Game & Watches yeah, cool. on MAME? Because I've got a bunch of Game & Watches up on a shelf up there. Nice. That's very cool. Yeah. Let us know which Game & Watches uh, that you're playing. Yes. Um, so here's the tattoo. So what has been figured out, and I'm going to show you, yeah. is 50. Those dots, those three dots represent 50. So if you type them in, and we switch to binary, mm -hmm. and you type them in, starting with that dot so it's a one one and then there's a blank zero zero and then there's a filled in one one and then a blank zero and if you look at decimal it's 50 and that is correct that portion of the tattoo yep. means 50. now there's four <clears throat> numbers one's up here One's in this side, just like 50's over here, and there's one here. Yeah. So where the break is in 50, it could be here because that equals 50. It also could be here because padding with zeros, as you can see right here, there's two zeros padded, still equals 50. 
it could be here, 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 here. There's a lot of zeros that are leading this 50. I agree with Beer Pocock. Starting with this pin is the hard part. Yes, that's the, the part that needs to be figured out. So, But if you start going here, don't, uh, don't, from the don't left, give more away. Don't give more away. They, they don't get it. So No, they get it. it. They get it. They get it. So Let if I them clear this out, out, I'm just going to do a demonstration. All right, all right. <laughs> if you start with from the left, yeah, and you go zero, zero, yeah, then there's a one, then there's a one, and if you count pins, mm -hmm. there's two pins, probably zeros, and then there's a one, and there's a bunch of zeros, and I would suggest just keep typing in the zeros. <laughs> And to see where you end to up. To see where you end up and see if there's any magical numbers. Yeah. And I would also do that for the top. Yeah. And top left, top right. And the top left and right are a lot more recognizable. Mm. Like, you will get them immediately. Uh, the bottom left, yeah. still quite recognizable. Yeah. Um, so that's... Uh, what your task is, and you win a coaster and a sticker. Yeah. Oh, a sticker too. Very yes. nice. Or Very multiple nice. stickers. Yeah. And I looked into doing some embroidered patches, and they're not they're very expensive, actually. Mm. Because they're all machine done. They just punch it in and... So the first person to type in all four numbers mm -hmm. from this... Uh, I get a lot of numbers, but they're nonsense to me, like the 50. 50 is pretty much the only nonsense number that has nothing to do with computers or Atari or anything like that, or things that to do with the 6502 <laughs> learning calculating. Yeah, I've lost no you, You've lost the audience completely. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, binary. <sighs> I yeah. thought the 6502 is getting and calculating James cholesterol levels. That's right. They're permanently tattooed my cholesterol <laughs> levels on my arm. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's how you calculate it with a calculator. It's, it's, fairly simple just change it into binary start typing how the did ones you get zeros. into the programmer part of the calculator i've never used that before so i didn't even know that existed um you do the drop down in the menu you're not looking and you go to programmer nice or you go back to standard oh in the oh just in the menu and it has a uh, scientific I didn't, one I, see i've always used the scientific i didn't Graphing realize Graphing calculator oh that's fancy never even looked at that one no me neither date Oh, date calculator. What does that do? <laughs> and this Counts is the, the game for today. We're going through the Windows calculator. <laughs> Think of porting Nintendo Sheriff to the 2600 in 6507 assembly. Oh, very cool. Uh, could somebody teach me? Well. <laughs> well, there's a number of books out yeah. on assembly. Yeah. There's a number of courses also in the Atari Age forums. In as the forum, well. yeah. Um, I would suggest either reading uh andrew davy uh andrew davy's uh tutorial or spicewares tutorial both mm. are very very good and i've referenced them both for making my own game um so i would <laughs> i told i was told there'd be a lot of calculator <laughs> talk <laughs> and i have not been disappointed uh oh nostalgic considering the game and watch was inspired by people playing with pocket calculators yes. it comes full circle yes. wow i didn't know that that's cool alex jones nut job oh i don't know uh <laughs> I th you're thinking of somebody else whose name i'm not mentioning so yeah. no no it's not one of those no um so that's my tattoo people need to figure it out because if you don't during this broadcast it's going to the forums and it's mm. going to be wide open for everyone nice um Okay, so that is all the news today, and we're going to get to the games. Yay, now. finally. Yay. <laughs> Let's get to the games. Okay, so the first game is by Armscar Coder, uh, Andrew Pauly, uh, whose other games, Raptor and Dog on It, have won multiple mm. awards at the Atari Homebrew Awards. Uh, and he reached out to me on August 10th about his new game, yep. secret new game. He's not posted it anywhere, mm -hmm. not told anybody. About, well, he might have told some people about it, but hasn't posted it publicly mm -hmm. at all. Not a screenshot, nothing. Mm -hmm. And he asked if I'd like to the world premiere of it. Of mm -hmm. course, Andrew, he makes amazing games. He should still be in the chat. Yeah. 
Gamma Dev gets it! Yay! Hooray! Congratulations, Yay! Gamma Dev. Yay, Gamma Dev just dis deciphered the tattoo. So let me show you what only Gamma Dev was able to get. <laughs> it's, isn't that simple? Arm Scar Coder's still here! Yay! Yay! Okay. Yeah, my hint was like way over the top today. Yeah. But it needed. So if you look at the bottom left, let me get it back on the screen. Gamma Def says I already have a coaster. That's okay. This one was hard. You can get another one. <laughs> um, if, if you want one. <laughs> if you want one. It'll be a different coaster. Yeah. Because uh, they're all bespoke. Yes, they are. Bespoke. So you look at the bottom left. Uh, you go zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one. And then keep adding zeros oh, till it gets 50. to 800. There Atari you go. 800. Yay. Now we'll start with the top left one zero one zero 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 one zero one zero 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 atari 2600 very nice and it cuts off exactly there uh just before the one okay and you go one zero 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 and i didn't clear it one zero <laughs> zero 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 Commodore 64, of which nice. uses a uh, uh, 6502 processor as well. Yes. Uh, how about I give a trivia question? Whoever answers it first gets a coaster. There you go. Sure. Yeah, do that it. That sounds good. Do it, Kamadev. Hard to believe James looks like 35 and Tanya looks I'll 20. take it. It's the softening filter it. we put it on. It is. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of lights in this oh, room. It just you. fades away all the, all the wrinkles. That's right. No, we're much, much older than <laughs> yes, that. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's it's the cats. The cats uh, yeah. keep us young. Do they? Yeah. I feel like they're aging me. But yeah, they're okay. aging us. Uh, this little guy is so sweet, but. Uh, name the f so Gamma Dev's question is name the first console game that used a license license property. property. Okay. Console game. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna answer it. Um, well, console I'm, game. I don't know. So I, I you guess... have to define console. Yeah. And licensed property. Yeah. You mean a movie? Because people are answering movies now. License. Yeah. Means anything. Oh, Strawberry System got it! Yay! Uh, okay. Strawberry System. We can. S <laughs> I was Excellent. Thinking, I was thinking, Pong. Yeah. That needed a license. Well, Strawberry System 22 gets the coaster. We have a few on giveaway and you can pick which one you want. Yes. Well, welcome Strawberry nice. System. <laughs> so welcome you show the off screen. the coasters. I have four. And I will These put it on made. the big screen. Yeah. So I call this one uh, Underwater. Speak up. Underwater. She calls it Underwater. Yeah, the Underwater Zero Page Coaster. It's yeah. very sparkly. Blue. This one, it's a little hard to see the zero page, but it's all sparkly. Um, uh, so type daisies. which type which one you want. Yeah. And, and we'll I'll... we'll figure out a way to get it to you. Oh yeah. Pink, shiny pink, iridescent pink. Again, the zero page is a little <laughs> hard to see, but it's it's pretty sparkly. That's uh, sparkly. Um. Oh, that's not one. And <laughs> I have some old ones in there. And this one is just all gold. That's zero page. Oh, zero there you page. go. And again, sparkling gold. Yeah, they're 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 a little, they're a little they're a little extra. What's the black one? <laughs> you can have dark ones. Well, no, I, you there's know what? two more down down there actually. There, there's um. Grab that one. Yeah, this one's not great. There's this one too. Oh, this one's used. I, I there's just mine. Want to use the used one. There's this one, I will I will. <laughs> this is one we're using, and you're welcome to. We'll it. clean we can, it up. We'll clean it up. This one is just zero page. Blackened stars. That's if, a darker if one. If that's appealing. Oh no! <laughs> the ads have come. Oh no! Strawberry system! No. Come back to us! Yeah. yeah, if you have Amazon. Well, she, they can't hear you yeah. right now. So. Also, Pong, not a console game, it's standalone. That one there. Hmm. Okay. Mm. You have to define console because there were cart not there were cartridge games with the uh that what was what was the one with the cartridges? 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> rendered ghost. That was really nice. 12 gift subs. Okay, <laughs> yeah. you have to show it off again. Okay, the black one, um, it just needs to be cleaned up because we've had it here and we've been... They clean up nice. But yeah, this one's black with stars. If that appeals to you. Zero rage, homebrew. Yeah. <laughs> Zero rage? Zero rage. Yeah. That means you have no rage. I'll take that one. Excellent. Awesome. I will put your name on it. Uh, you can either message me in Twitch or you can message me on the Atari Age forums because you said you're on the Atari Age forums. Or that was somebody else. I don't know. I don't know. But Twitch might be easier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, zero page homebrew. Zero page, one word, space, homebrew on the Atari Age forums. I will put your name on it right now. And if not, you can email me, uh, james at zeropagehomebrew.com. I'll put your name on it so we know. Well, thank you for joining. <laughs> yes, thank you for joining. You won right away. Good job. And I will have to check out your channel as well. Yeah, I do like Game & Watches. Strawberry System. <laughs> Strawberry System. I honestly didn't think it was the first. I think it was, so there you go. There you go. All right. Uh, okay, so mm. back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, so the first game we're going to be playing is Tumblers. Woo! Uh, we have a manual for it here. We did beta testing on the game. Mm -hmm. Kind of beta testing. Last minute beta testing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, an exclusive world premiere. kittens thank you here you go let's switch over to the 2600 tire kicking testing Pr pretty much mm -hmm. press the button and to make sure all the tires work yes tumblers okay go for it load it up so this is a 2k game with a title screen it is so, oh, I guess you can start going. Um, if I can remember. <laughs> NTSC. Let me make sure that volume is up enough. The NTSC National Treasury Security Council has released, recently released Tumblers, a security software package being marketed to financial institutions. The NTSC asserts that Tumblers is 100% hacker proof, claiming that the software's 10 unique security levels make it impervious to any online breach. In an effort to embarrass the NTSC, the on anonymous group PAL, Programmers Against Lying, has developed code referring, referred to as the cube key. So Tanya is manip manipulating the manipulating cube key. Manipulating the cube key. The cube key is available for download to anyone who wishes to try their hand at safe cracking. Mm. To prevent the authorities from tracing any users of the cube key, PAL designed it to automatically stop working after 10 minutes. So you can see the countdown timer there. Tanya's at nine minutes. She's only got nine minutes to crack the code. Game Overview. Tumblers is an action puzzle game where you use the cube key to unlock as many electronic locks as you can in 10 minutes. A lock is unlocked once the cube key enters the keyhole at the top of the lock. The cube key has six sides, just like a normal cube, with three unique colors, red, green, and blue. Each color occupies two sides of the cube, and opposite faces of the cube are the same color. So, if you can imagine, a cube, red, red, green, green, blue, blue. Uh, when the cube is stationary, the near cube face is shown with flashing color strips, indicating the color of the top and bottom sides. So you can see, when she stops moving, you can see pink is in the, on the sides, and when she rotates it, it turns into that color. So now green's on the top, it rotates and matches the green. 
The score is the number on the left side of the bottom of the screen representing the number of locks that have been solved or levels cleared. Obviously it starts at zero and Tanya's made it through two levels. So this will be her third level that she's cleared when she makes it to the top. Tetris in reverse, sort of. Yes. Conquer Rager says, I'm a sucker for games like this and I already like it. So is Tanya. Mm -hmm. Action mm -hmm. puzzle games. Mm -hmm. I mean, we like puzzle games, but if you add in a little action, it does play better on the stream. <laughs> Otherwise, contemplation happens. Long contemplation. Long, slow contemplation. Ah! The timer is shown on the right side of the bottom of the screen. It is set for 10 minutes at the beginning of the game. The timer only pauses when a level is completed and reaches tumblers are... And new tumblers are being loaded for the next level. The game is over when the timer reaches zero. So really you have one minute per level. And you've done three, so you're a little bit ahead, but they do get harder. Game, start and restart from the title screen. Press the fire button to start the game at any point during the game. Pressing and holding the fire button for three seconds will return you to the title screen. Toggling the console reset switch will also return you to the title screen. No other console or difficulty switches are used. Then I will deem it um, couch compliant. There we go. Put the little couch compliant symbol there. Cube key rolling. Yeah, this is amazing that is packed into 2K. 2K. Um, Nostalgic says, this is really cool. The rolling animation is very good. I would have guessed this was 4K if you hadn't said it was 2K. Yeah, the, the, the horizontal and vertical movement of the cube is absolutely astounding for 2K. And also the preview of the sides. I never would have thought to do it like that to show what was on both sides of the cube. Um, it's really quite ingenious. Um, rolling sequence example, and he gives a visual example here, but you can see what's happening on the screen as Tanya rolls around. Rolling around rolling like around a cat like a in cats. catnip. Yep. And I'm guessing everybody's understanding how it's rolling over and over. Like that left and right was blue and pink um and it's six sides but both sides are the same remind me what the yellow is again i've forgotten all the yellow is you can't roll it left or right that's right so you have to set it for the next line so yes so how you do that is you have the cube to be pink which it will be already yeah right there so if you roll it into it you're pink ready to go there so it slides along the yellow, so it doesn't roll on the yellow. So this time, Tanya has to get to it green. green. Yeah, so. Before she slides it into the yellow. So, yeah, there you go. No. 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 Oh, no. You just have to take an F. Oh, I see. Just, yeah. It has to be green before it gets the That's yellow. That's right. Not Sorry, on you the messed me up there for a second. I wasn't thinking. It me? was him. I me? blame him. Me? Yes, I do. Blame the cat. I blame you. No. So let's go to the tumbler types. So there's three normal tumbler types. There's the green, red, and blue. Light green, light red, and light blue. Mm -hmm. So if you mess that up by going into it the wrong color, the screen scrolls down by one. It's, it's a punishment for doing it wrong, so you just really don't get ahead. Uh, you get, if it's dark green and you mess it up, two tumblers are added. I believe that's dark green right there. So if Tanya messes that up, two are added. So you really don't want to mess that up. Which and I'm not going that fast, to be honest. Yeah, I'm sure you're you could. Just on time right now. Six levels, and you have just over four minutes left. So you could make it if you go fast enough. So then he has to get the pink ready, which is ready now. So that's the secret to the yellow. I find the yellow you messes think, my brain up a little bit. You have to think bit. a little bit, yes. Now the dark red, if you don't get the dark red right, it kicks it out. 
The it's, dark red? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just red. It was the same as the dark green and the dark... No, it, it acts a little differently. Does it? It doesn't add things to it. It kicks it out. So you have to, you have to get it right to get past the red. Uh, now there's a dark blue that's coming up. If you don't match that up, which it's pretty easy to match it up once you understand the game, it resets you back to the bottom. Oof. Which is which wastes a lot of your time. The slider, the yellow, uh, no penalty, but the tumbler does not clear. The cube cannot roll or rotate. Mm -hmm. So you can go into the yellow with any color, but the penalty comes after you go out of it with the wrong one. Rolling cube looks kind of 3D. Yeah, if you... It does! You, you, it's rolling correctly. Well, it is rolling linearly, which wouldn't happen. Oh, you bastard. Now, when you're looking at the top of a cube rolling and it's changing color, would the line of the two colors move linearly or would it move a little bit faster and then a little bit slower or slower then faster? Oh, I don't know. Because it would be like a... It would be like a, a sine wave, I would expect. I would have to do this in real life. Um, let me see if I can replicate it somewhere with a box. Oh, I don't have a square box anywhere. Oh my gosh. This hurts my brain. Faster, ah! slower than faster. Hmm. So you just have to get it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Too late. It always hurts my brain. Be interesting to run this in Stella to see what was used in the cube for the preview bars and the rolling animation. Well, there's really nothing else on the line for the preview. So it's going to be probably player two, or it could be missiles. You could use either both, either one. Um, like the plain cube of player zero and then player one for the sides or the top. This always messes me up. Actually, you don't even need to do it at the top. You can just change the color and then change the color back. Because the sides are... And the line disappears when you roll into it. So you don't have to worry about interference from anything else. And even then... Oh, yeah. That would be interesting. Now I think I've got it backwards. Yeah, I'd have... Yeah, that'd be an interesting experiment. I don't have anything that's square. And colored. Everything's like not square. It's all rectangles in this room. Kittens, go find me something square. He doesn't understand. Uh, oh, you're not gonna make it. Got 13 seconds left. You're only level eight. What? Well, you're on level nine, but. Oh no. That was good. Level eight. How far did you get last when you played it? Oh, I beat it. You beat it? Beat it. I didn't know yeah. there was a beating point. Yeah, you make it to the level 10. Oh, 10. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So That's we fun. must beat it then. Yes. And the cube cube is... Uh, cool. Yeah, I, I have a... Your turn. I don't have a rubric cube here. No. ZPH pillow. Yeah. It is a rectangle. So it won't help us. It's a square. But yeah, it's not a cube. We need to roll it at a at a, a linear pace. <laughs> like even then, how do you do it linearly? We want to know if the color change mm. is constant when you roll it constantly, or does it go fast and then slow, then fast again? Kitten. The color change, so the line? Here, if you, yeah, the, the line the between edge? the two colors, the edge. I mean, it forms an arc. So I would think it would be con continual. A constant? Yeah. Hmm. A line. Okay, let's see how I can do here. I don't know. You're, I guess you're converting a circular path into a straight one. I don't know. <laughs> that's for that's for a mathematician, someone who really likes algebra. Oh. I'm out of. I've been out of the algebra game. Is Thomas Yench uh, here? <laughs> since high school. He would so. love that. He would love that. He puzzle. would. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, we do no have Rubik's dice. Cube. We do have dice somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know. Oh god. Damn it. See, you're going faster than me. That's the key. You have to. Oh, I know. Faster. If you want to do, I didn't realize level ten was the end. I'll have to try a little, a little faster. Rubik's cube is vintage gaming. True. It true. is. Yeah. Kitten, I don't want your butt in my face. You're lovely. Did you butt. order a cat butt? No, I didn't order a cat butt. I think you ordered a cat butt. He says. I've got a cat butt. <laughs> I have a pickup order for a cat butt. <laughs> <laughs> what? No tip, he says? A crown royal bag full of dice. Correct. Correct. <laughs> uh, yes. It's treat time. It's yum. Time. <gasps> yum, yum, yum. Oh, yum. Is it yum. treat time? Yeah, but in the middle of a game. No, no, we'll finish. We'll finish okay. our game. Good. These two cats have uh, have our full attention. Full attention. Thank you, rendered ghost. The cats. Thank you. Mrs. Seldrick says, uh, "Chelsea and Mal, those are the best uses of Crown Royal bags." <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, they Correct. are. Correct. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna get that one. I know. That's the worst. <sighs> this is a great, damn it, great little game. Yes, it's simple. Magical. Um. You, you do mess up, but yeah, you if understand. you're trying to go fast, you will. Yeah. Yeah. I tend to go more for accuracy, not that I achieve it. Um, <laughs> over speed, and that usually does not help me in most games. <laughs> no, so, I go for he, speed over accuracy, and it gets me into so much trouble. Yeah. Depends on the game, though. Oh, damn it. It doesn't take time away. No, well, it moves things down. But, yeah, and then you don't get... That's true, it's harder to get through the level. Yep, yep, yep. Kittens? Oh, I feel like Sid is ready to go. I think so, too. Yeah. So we've seven minutes of, ga of gameplay, and then we'll... I'll uh, do it in less time. <laughs> of course you will. Um... Oh, I'm curious if there are any colorblind players in the chat, and if so, oh. how they view these colors. Are they different enough to distinguish? It's the green depends. and the red if you're red-green colorblind. It depends on the colorblindness. Yeah. That's the issue. I had a progressive mode, and it would be really stressful. I don't know what you mean by progressive. Do you mean like... um? It, it does get faster. It does get faster. I didn't faster. get to that part of the um, instructions. It, and and uh, there, uh, you talked about the obstacles in it, too, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah so things do speed oh, up. Oh, Philip Meyer says I'm colorblind. <laughs> oh, okay. What kind of colorblind? Oh, I'm rendered ghost. I'm red-green, but it smiles. Uh, I can still distinguish pretty well. Yeah. I think it depends on the intensity. I had a, I had a friend... Look at that, level seven. In uh, university, minutes. who never realized the difference between green and blue until he wore blue and red to a Christmas event. <laughs> and he, uh, it was when he was young. Yep. And his parents were like, that's not green. <laughs> <laughs> but he thought it was green. So I always I always thought that was um, yeah. one way to figure because it out, right? <laughs> things may not come up. Well, right? and, and you can distinguish maybe that the colors are, are different. subtly different, but yeah. Wor Wordle has a colorblind option. Ah. What does Wordle? Oh. Oh, Carl G might be might be good to have one using the color black white switch. Yeah. Yes, that would be a very yeah. good use. Phil Meyer says colors look pretty distinct to me. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah, stop chewing here. cords. They're like you. The bell rang. It dinged. What is happening? Why are there no treats? <laughs> <laughs> Where are the treats? Oh, you're on eight already. Wow, you're flying through it. Move while I press the I button. I know, I, I've, I've done that too. Okay, you're getting through it fast. Ah, Damn it. No. back to the beginning! Luckily, I don't have much left. Yeah. No. 
Go to the other one. Go to switch it. Oh my god. Go back, yeah. What are you doing? Then I have to get it green. Oh, forget it. Just to, yeah, just to take lose the it. penalty. Yeah, just lose it. How about a two-player mode where you meet in the middle? Nice. Yeah, that's cute. Yes. Uh, pink. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, nine. Okay, one. Last one. Last one? Yep. Do you have to complete ten? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Kid. Oh. Yeah, you have to complete ten. Is he chewing? Uh, he loves the, um, Velcro tie. Get into the Sid story after this. just have to do 10 and then I think anything else is bonus. Uh, oh, so once you've done 10. Maybe it just continues. I can't remember. There are only 10 unique levels. After level 10, it just repeats. Oh, okay. Still want to try and get as many done as you can, of course. So you just gotta keep going. Yeah. This is the best I've done so far. Oh, damn it. The Sid story, that sounds ominous. It was a little ominous. Will it be like one of those E True Hollywood stories? <laughs> but behind the scenes, behind the things scenes. were falling apart. <laughs> Kittens, can you control Kittens. your cat? My cat, honey. <laughs> My cat, eh? Yeah, hey, uh, when he's bad, he's your cat. Oh, I see. I see how that works. Hi. See, you're learning bad habits from your older brother. Clawing at things. Nostalgic ass. Arm scar coder is each level randomly generated and then repeats after 10 levels, or are all of these pre made? They do follow a sequence as far as um, the dark lines Types of, of colors lines. and yeah. But not, I, 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 I think they're random. Oh, the levels within the yeah. round, you mean? The, the colors on the screen. Yes, yeah. oh, I see, I see, I see. Good job! Yeah! You're getting hurt Stop fast. the bad Stop cats, it. please. What are you doing? Baby! Stop being such a bad kitten! He says, it's oh in my, my nature. Gosh. I can't help are it. Are you a bad kitten? I'm such a bad cat. The geometry of the tumblers are randomly generated. The types are introduced in a predetermined way. Yes. Damn it! What? It worked out. No, it didn't. It no, messed it me up! How dare it! It's gonna be too fast. Oh my god! Stop it. Woo! 13 One points! Left. Oh, I don't know if I can make it. He is an excellent bad kitten. Excellent bad he's kitten. The best bad he's kitten. the best bad kitten that anybody could ever want. He's, he's a cute little monster, is what he is. Yeah, are you a cute monster? Yes, he is. Nine seconds? Maybe. Maybe. 
Maybe I can make it. Oh my god, just made 14. Seven seconds. I made it. You're done? No, I can't make it. And you don't get points for half a level. Oh, so. I see. 14, Woo! world record. <laughs> Armstar guess... Coder, what is your best? What is your best? <laughs> I, I always wonder developers, how good developers are at their own game. All right, well, yeah. yeah. How long you play Some are for, bad. I guess. Some are good. Yeah. Some don't want to play it for. Yeah. Two hours. Thank well, you, Vitoko. Yeah, that's true. Is, uh, it does. Uh, I have played it a lot, but. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Armscar 28. Nice. What? <laughs> Double. Oh, Double. My God. Very nice. That's insane. That is really That's like good. rolling constantly. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Well, Armscar code has been cracked out. Oh my it's jingle time! <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready, cats? Ah. It's time to start oh. the bedding. Go I upstairs. need to get more, more Quick, treats while I do the bedding. before they freak out. They're all coming with me. Oh my gosh! Guys! How come I can't see the screen? Um, let me switch over. Cats are following her upstairs, of course. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's start that bedding. Now, I can't really tell you any hints because these cats are being pretty random. Sid won by one point in his first two games, three points in his third game, and lost by five in his fourth game. Fourth, I thought it was. Was it fourth or five? Lost by five in his fourth game. Really? Five? Yep. It was Holy bad, shit. bad showing on that one. Really bad showing on that one. Okay, cats. Are you going to do better this time, Sid? Or are you going to... Are you hungies? Who's, who, which cat is hungry? Hmm? Hungry for treats. Who wants it more? Who wants more treats? So we've got... Are you ready for the bells? Ooh, Atari. Ooh. People are going for Atari this he, time. He kind of dominated in the very last game. He but nobody's well. nobody's going for Atari 3 Plus, yeah. even though he won by five last I time. I know, I know. I would definitely recommend somebody throw at least 10 there bits. There we go. He got it through. Throw oh, a now people there. are going for Sid 3 Plus. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, we've got it all covered now. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Nope, nope. Uh, why do you run out? Why is this so it, it keeps falling over. Well, it's not touching it. I'm not touching anything. <laughs> Come on, in here, ring the bell. Come in. Gotta close this door. I know, they're very funny. The silly Atari. They're very, runs very out of the funny. Room. Oh, it, lots of betting happening. Lots of betting. Ooh, We've got lots of bets going on. People are excited. Six seconds left. Oh my god, that's a lot of points yeah. being thrown down. Very excited. Yeah, so how many points do we have on, on the board right There's now? There's a lot up for up. grabs. 14 seconds left, like people. 40, 45,000 points? Yeah. Wow, put your bets in. Yeah. This is going to be a big pot. Five big seconds pot. left. All right. All right. Are you ready, cats? Okay, here we go. Hold on, let me get them in my hand. Let's oh, reset boy. the scores. We've got... Blue for Sid and pink for Atari. They're both very excited. They're very excited. This is going to be a fast game. All right. All right. Who's going to get Oh, little Sid. He's up for it today. And go. Oh, oh Sid. Sid's off to the races with one Atari, point so bell. far. Hit the bell. Hit the I bell. didn't hear it. Hit it. There, there we go. go. It's one all. Atari's it's tied there. it up. Atari. It's over there. Atari's having some trouble finding it. <laughs> Sid is crunching down on it. He took his time. Oh, now he's back Sid. for more. Two one for Sid. He took a little bit of time. Oh, he ate that one really quick. Oh, oh Sid another again. Sid. Three one. Atari's... Oh, that's Atari. No, close behind. Close behind. Yeah. Sid. Oh, he's just inhaling them. Wow. Oh no, he pushed the bell. Oh, oh he went <laughs> yeah. for the pink one. He dove for it. Yeah. Atari's having trouble finding the treat, which is not good. 
Here's a, here's a treat for you. There you go. There you found it. Sid oh, is up to Sid. five to two. Atari's back to the bell. He's thinking about it. No, he missed. Oh, soft oh, touch. Oh, Atari. Hit didn't, the bell, buddy. Didn't make a sound. Oh, oh Sid, Sid made again. it. again. Atari. Atari got to hit it. There, there you go. go. Oh, six. and he knocks it under the couch again. Oh, God. And there's Sid again. Seven My three for Sid. Goodness. Sid is hungry. It's destroying. Oh, Atari's going to. No. Harder. 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 Smack it. Don't let Sid show you up. There you there go. There we go. Seven four. Don't toss it I'm, out there I'm or something. I'm trying to. He bounces it this way. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't use your claws to bring it. You have to hit the plunger. There, there you we go. go. Hey, it was not Sid but Atari. What Eight, do you mean? Four. What? Oh, here. Eight, oh, five. you mean Sid hit the treat? No. Gotta watch. You watch. I am watching. I have to do this. And Atari's Atari again. eight six. Atari's catching up. Sid is slow. Oh, he's not ringing it. Oh, Sid. And Sid is at nine. Oh, Atari gets another point. Nine seven. And one more point, and Sid has won it. He's it is won oh, it. Ten there you seven. Go. It's all over. And it's some all extras over. for good kitties. Wow. Good kitties. It's in the three plus range. Now, what was the uh, controversy? Hey, it was Sid, but not Atari. Did we give Sid a point when it was Atari? I don't know. Hmm. Let me wash my hands. I think. Do we have to do an instant replay? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. Anybody want an instant replay to check? You want me to go to the tape? Vitoko, what do you say? You're saying there was a point that should have gone to Atari, but not Sid? Hmm. He, Atari does hit the bell sometimes softly, but check the tape. Yep. Okay, we're checking the tape. Uh, <laughs> we're checking Time the for tape. some video inception. Yep, yeah, it's going to look really weird. It's Hold fun. Hold on to your hat. It's fun. Before we settle it, instant replay. I mean, Sid did of. win. He won regardless, but by how much is the question? All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. One second. All right. Oh, it's not fast forwarding nicely. BBG, I was totally thinking space balls too. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening now, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's it is it's, hard to. It's not fast forwarding nicely. It's fast forwarding oh, no. very slowly. I'm just gonna mute it for now. Like I fast forwarded, it says 51 minutes, but it's actually at 16. I mean, it's yeah. getting there. Problem is, we have to watch the whole thing in real time. The oh, you bell. fast forward it, you mean? The whole bell thing. Uh, can we play it back faster? Maybe. Oh, I don't know what the key is for that. Is it this? Oh, it is. Maybe that'll work. Look at those socks. <laughs> oh, that yeah. actually works really well. <laughs> There's digital bits at stake. This is important. <laughs> it's difference between, you know, Sid winning by three and Sid winning by two. Oh, I'm, yeah. You're playing? And it's times. me playing. Wow. after so we'll know when that happens and then we can watch so it because i go up to 13 points right let's just crank up that speed oh that might be too fast i need the sid by two i need the sid by two <laughs> yeah you have to watch the bell ringing i have to take my eyes off of it okay i'm up to three points oh no four, five no, 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 no. six how do i stop seven. it again stop what all the people spamming the chat right now. Click on their names, then yeah. click ban. Okay. Help. Oh my god. Help. 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 
Something's wrong with the ZPH stream. <laughs> Help them. Obi-Wan. Okay, here we go. We're at 13 Slowly. points for me. Down oh to seven, gosh. six. You just click in their name and click ban. I know, I'm doing it. It's just scro What's the problem? scrolled up the screen. Ah. There are so many of them. Really? Yes. Wow. Okay, now it is almost time. Oh, you've got a little baby cat in your arms. It's so cute. He is very cute. Okay. Oh, yeah, and then we do the bedding. There we so go. So I can wait for that to be on the screen. We can see the microphone stand. This so technology tilted. is great. You could recreate that scene in Space Files. Yes, <laughs> yes we could. <laughs> Okay, now how much time left is there? We, we have to listen. Tell. We have to hear it too. Yep. As soon as the bedding stops. I don't want to hear myself more than I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. He's sitting down. Cats are going crazy. Like super crazy at two times super speed. Super crazy. Oh, are we okay, almost we're about ready? to start. Yeah. Okay, so let's turn on the audio. Oh, audio's catching up. Okay. Sid one. Sid one. Uh, Sid one. You keep track of Sid, and I'll keep track okay. of Atari. Okay. Two for Sid. Cats are going to go nuts. Yeah, the cats are already going nuts. Three. Oh, that's Atari. Close behind. Close behind. Sid, oh, he's just inhaling them. Wow. No, no, he pushed the back. Oh, oh four. Yeah. Yeah. Atari's having trouble finding the tree, which is not good. Here's a, here's a treat for We're you. going to the tape. <laughs> Sid oh, five. Sid. Five to two. Atari's back to the So we're bag. accurate still. He's thinking about it. No, he missed. Nope, oh, touch. Atari. Hit it, the bell, buddy. Didn't make a sound. Oh, oh Sid, Sid made it. Again. Six. Okay, shh. Atari, hit it. There, there you go. go. Oh, Six. and he knocks it under the couch again. Seven. And there's Sid again. Seven, My three for goodness. Sid. goodness. Sid is hungry. It's destroying. Oh, Atari's going to... No. Harder. 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 Smack it. Don't let Sid show you up. There you there go. There you go. Four. Don't toss him I'm, there I'm trying to. He bounces it this way. <laughs> No, you can't. You can't use your claws to bring it. You have to hit the plunger. There, there we go. go. Hey, it was not Sid but Atari. What Eight, do you mean? Four. Nope. We didn't see anything. Nope. It was Sid. We have accurate to that point. Yeah. Eight to four. What? So Atari just rang five. Eight, oh, five. you mean Sid hit the tree? No. I watch you watch. Eight. I am watching. <laughs> Atari's Atari eight six. Atari's catching up. Sid is slow. No, he's not ringing it. Nine. Oh, and Sid is at nine. Oh, seven. Point nine seven. And then this is. And one more point, and Sid has won it. it is oh. Ten. We have gone to the tape, and it was <laughs> accurate. <laughs> so there we go. No recursion. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we are good. We Rob will, says VVG. We will keep that score. <laughs> we gave you a fair chance. Yeah, no, no, it, it can happen. It it's can. very hard. It has happened, so I, I, I don't doubt that we might get it wrong sometimes. You know, so, it's hard. It's hard to track them both. So it was ten really to is. seven was the final score. Woohoo! And oh. we are going to give it Sid three plus. Woo! Oh, my audio was out of sync. Oh, that that can oh, do it too. Oh, that is not a good thing to have. Also, they hit the bell sometimes without noise, and that can be a little 
misleading. 51,000 points get shared what? between Rich So Cash <laughs> and Gamatev. An apt name we've never heard of before. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> Rich So Cash. <laughs> you uh, definitely earned that. Yeah. And Gamatev. Wow, huge points. Yeah. I expect one of you two to trigger the next one because <laughs> you you're set for life i love it carl wow. g there needs to be an impartial <laughs> governing body we all saw it <laughs> are any governing it. bodies impartial no. though really let's face it so yeah yeah i'm just gonna atari to the shame corner reset Aww. the audio just so everybody's in sync okay now. okay so uh we're on to the next game <laughs> rich socast says thanks i'm going to redeem my channel points for a jet ski at PRG. <laughs> <laughs> you might buy that jet ski yeah, <laughs> yeah. uh erasers are fifty thousand, so i don't know where the jet ski you know those little funny <laughs> pac-man erasers yeah uh, uh, the next game we're going to be playing is mini gun miner this was first posted may 7th 2023 this is by dr ludos <laughs> This is a 16K game now. Uh, Dr. Ludo's also made Fishing for Atari, Gift Catcher. These are for Lynx, Growing Ties, and Growing Ties Deluxe. Uh, Minigun Miner for 2600, Sheep It Up for 2600, very cute game. Time Loop for Lynx, and a bunch of other systems he's programmed for that aren't Atari. Mm -hmm. uh, this is available in the Atari H forums. Uh, last played this October 3rd, 2023, so almost a year ago. Um, and I just want to follow up with uh, Arms Car Coder. Excellent, excellent game. Amazing use of 2K. Mm. Um, Arms Car Coder, uh, when will that be available for the public? Will there be a demo? Is it a full release for yeah. free? Are you looking to put it on cartridge? Yeah. What are your plans like for that game? game? Yeah. It's, it's an amazing use of 2K. Yeah. So let's reboot the 2600. Reboot away. Anything between the erasers and the hair combs. That's what you get for 50,000. <laughs> okay. There you go. And I'll read what has been updated for this game. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Yeah. Have you played this game? I don't know. I might have. Um, you move Arcade? upwards by shooting. Okay. And you also destroy the underground dirt by shooting as well. And you have to collect the coins and jewels, but avoid the enemies that move around the screen because you cannot shoot them. Shoot. Gotcha. I remember. <laughs> no, no, no. I remember now. Okay. Okay, let's learn about what the updates are. So, uh, Dr. Ludos uh, messaged me. He says, I've released a much improved version of my Atari 2600 game minigame Miner that you previously tried on ZPH. I hope you enjoy this new version. Compared to the last one you played, it plays faster. Should be less frustrating. And have a new enemy, a flying skull that chases you that you must shoot. This enemy also exists in the giant boss version that appears very rarely. I'm eager to see you play this new version. It's always helpful to me to see someone play the game. You playing the first version of ZPH made me realize the original game was way too frustrating and too slow or boring to control. So thanks a lot for your help. You're very welcome. We love such playing a cool game. games on the show because developers don't often get to see their games being played live. They get text feedback, not even live, just even taped. A lot of them don't get to see it played. Um, so it's extremely helpful to see somebody react in real time, um, sometimes even play it for the first time ever, and see how somebody who doesn't have um, um, a preconception of what the game is supposed to be played like. Because if you're the dev, you've played it to death. You know what to do and what not to do. But somebody just picking up and playing it might do things very differently oh. than what... Yeah, keeps accelerating. No, I know. I know. Doesn't stop dead. Gotta be careful. 
Oh, an arm scar soldier says, arm scar coder says, thanks for playing. I'll post in a target soon. I'm battling a code, so I may wait till tomorrow evening. Awesome. So everybody look uh, for tumblers in the Atari Age forum. You don't have to get the coins, but no, it is, but it's your only it score. It is the point. Yeah, it's your yeah. only score. Uh, so instructions: using a mini gun, dig holes to collect buried treasures, coins, diamonds, rubies, etc. But be careful; never touch the ground, or you'll explode. Thankfully, every time you fire your mini gun, the recoil will send you flying in the air. Hold fire to shoot up, uh, to fly up, and dig holes. Move the joystick while holding the fire button to aim in any direction. And you can shoot upwards, too, if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, move joystick left and right while fire button is released to move left and right. There are items to collect, earn points, and enemies to avoid. Use game. About. A first version prototype of this game was created last year for the Retro Platform Jam number 6. Since then, I've been slowly working on improving and extending the game. Today, I'm happy to share with you the first beta of this full version of the game. Compared to the prototype, the game now features three game modes, because it only had just the game before. Arcade mode, which I think you're playing, right? Yeah. yeah. Aim for the high score in a randomly generated level. This was how the prototype worked. Uh, the next one, survival mode, aim for the high score in a unique non-random level. So you can actually compete in the survival mode. This is great for contests as everyone will experience the same quite difficult level. Uh, levels mode, a clear a series of challenges in a finite uh, set of finite levels. Oh, so there's an end. This mode is still a work in progress and is currently not available in the current beta. But instead uh, of making a high score, you'll have to collect X treasures to complete a level. I'm currently trying to offer 16 different and interesting levels for this mode. So, faster and improved gameplay. The gameplay is now much faster than previous. Should be less frustrating, too. Yeah, the gravity was very low. Hard to, to navigate. So it, things though. moved really slowly and acceleration was slow. So when trying to get past enemies, it was almost impossible because you had to time it so perfectly with gravity because you just move so slowly past them and then going fast back and forth. So it was very challenging to get past enemies. Doing this was not too bad, but um, it was still frustrating because you just flew up and you slowly came back down. It's very slow gameplay. This is way, way, way better. Yeah, that's great. You now have several lives instead of one chance. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yes, is much better. <laughs> yeah, it was challenging. Apipot says, uh, says you can shoot diagonally, I think. Yes, you can. Okay. So what a good tactic is to shoot diagonally as you go up or down, and it'll clear out something right beside you. Mm. Uh, much like Rampage, when you climb a building and you can punch diagonally as you go down or up. Very, very handy. It's a lot like Rampage, uh, the control of iPhone. Instead of punching, you shoot. Um, polished and improved code. The game should now never dro drop a frame for a steady 60 frame per second. Test on Stella to check for constant 262 lines. It also offers a menu with the ability to change color palette on the fly. Oh, so you can play on NTSC, PAL, and CCAM black and white with the same ROM. The game is now a 16 kilobyte uh, super chip ROM developed with the wonderful Batari Basic and is very helpful documentation by Random Terrain. Thanks a lot for your hard work making tools allowing us to make new games for the 2600. Eight points, high score. This almost needs some sort of time element too, or one could just simply uh, shoot from the top, everything moves slowly down. You could, it would be, it's very tedious to do that. Most people wouldn't give that up very quickly. Yeah, you can literally clear out the whole screen if you wanted to. There you go. The diagonal takes a bit of... A little time. bit of getting used but to it. But yeah. the thing with the diagonal is it pushes you upwards. It does. So that's You can't shoot up and down diagonal. Like that. And stay in place almost. Oh. Um, the time element would be a good one for getting through. Well, if you made it a timed one, you would have to have a goal to get the end of a level. Thank you, the D-Train, for resubscribing. Hey, the D-Train! 47 months. 
Oh, I knew he would say that. I just got here. What did I miss? <laughs> you missed the exclusive world premiere of Armscar Coder's new game. So this one... Oh! Can't stop it. You definitely have to dig a bit of wiggle room past him. Oh, yeah. So move the screen down a little bit. Yeah. And there you go. And then clear out a bit. Ah, it's the floatiness. Nine points. Lock, Lock picking, picking in cats, cats and a re Rex. replay. Yes. We had to go to the tape to check the, uh, the score for the, the score. cats. Yeah. And it was accurate, thankfully. Yeah. Well, we didn't give out anything yet, so it was okay. <laughs> oh my God, that was terrible. Thank you, Bitoko. What do you say? Good game? Oh, just my score. Uh, Oh, for uh, Nine. recording it? <laughs> a whole score. Of <laughs> oh, one over there. I love how high the, sc the score is. It oh, just, yeah. It's, you're just like, uh -huh. really? <laughs> really? I how long am I that. playing this for? <laughs> Oof. Uh, you have to be careful. Good thing to do is, um, as you go down, you can shoot sideways. Yes. And it'll clear out while going down. And yeah. you can shoot down. Down into the side so you don't move on. Yeah. Hi, sir. Hi. I can't mop the floor with you today. Good. Well, you know, let's see if you can get some redemption on the next one. If somebody triggers it. Or that is close. So you want to tell the story of your, oh, your you can. hard I'm night's playing. sleep? <laughs> you can. I'm playing. So, uh... One morning, James got up. I, I had already left for work. And uh, you said, oh, I had a terrible sleep. You were, talk to me afterwards. Yeah. I had a terrible sleep. I had this pain in my back all night. Piercing, itchy Piercing pain. pain. And then uh, he, when he got out of bed, he saw that an, one of my earrings was in the bed. Not just in the bed, under my back. Under James's back. I rolled over and went, oh, it's... So, so he started accusing me <laughs> of, like, leaving my earrings in the bed, which makes no sense or, at all. Or earrings falling off no, and you left them on. No, didn't happen, didn't happen. <laughs> didn't happen. Um, and, and I'm like, that's really weird. I, I usually keep little, like, the earrings that I wear all the time just in a little tray um, in our closet. And I said, it must have been one of the cats. And he's like, why, why, you know, why would the why cats... Would yeah. Anyway. Why would the cats, how would the cats bring an earring into the bed? It was under the covers. Under the covers. So flash forward, what, a day later? Yeah. And what is it you found? On the bed, an earring. I'm like, I didn't see it happen, but it was on the bed. It was the same the earring. Psst, Psst. Same Psst. earring. Psst. Magically Psst. appeared on the bed. Oh, again. kittens. It made me die. Get out of there. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh. oh. oh God. At least I can make it through the dirt, I guess. Yeah. Cats don't wear earrings. No, um, and so it's like, okay, it's definitely a cat. Yes. But that's very strange. Um, and then you caught Sid yes. with one of my necklaces in his mouth. Yes, running off with it. So we're now calling him the cat burglar. Because he's clearly got a, got a, a, a um, kleptomaniac personality yes. for earrings and necklaces yeah <laughs> yes. fire cats yes yes fire cats do wear he's, earrings and he is burying his treasure <laughs> in the bed and he's burying his treasure in the bed uh so now every time i see him sleeping i'm like so are you planning your next heist like what's yeah. going on here so um i do want to catch him in the act i have to get some video of him stealing my jewelry that's very easy to do <laughs> we Just... can't we can't leave the bedroom open anymore no, we can't. God damn. He's stealing my That's jewelry. Terrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him. It's just costume jewelry, but now I can't keep my, my nice jewelry out. So there you go. Um, yeah, bad cat. So funny, though. I can't believe he's been stealing jewelry. Now, we need to use this to our advantage. Uh, somehow. Send we need him to out train into the world. him. Yes, yes. A jewelry for treats. Yes. And I'm sure he's very trainable to get... <laughs> Oh, oh, doing terrible. Then you need to find a cat that is a lawyer so that you can prosecute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cat lawyer. Tari, yeah. you Atari be the cat, cat lawyer. lawyer. Yeah. He's like, I'll get that cat. So, He's a menace. That's so oh. funny. 
Yeah, it's just so good. Silly little guy. Persecute? I was oh say. no! <laughs> Who did I that? I assure you, Your Honor, I'm not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Good reference, oh. Dev. That was perfect. <laughs> yeah. Sick reference, bro. <laughs> you have the best references. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Uh, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, you cannot trust that <laughs> You cat. cannot trust him. He, he likes to chew all the plants I'm growing in the house. Oh, he's definitely teething or something. I think he is teething. I think he is. Oh, lucky. And you just can't, you can't turn your back on him for five minutes. Nope, he's up to no good at all times. Mm -hmm. Where is he? There he is. He's just chewing on Atari's tail. Okay. Yep, that grows back. <laughs> Crab 7. Yep, perfect. And then Nostalgic 26. My partner and I have been playing Cat Quest 3. I think I have Cat Quest 3 on something. I'm three. surrounded by cat puns. Oh no. Yeah. Cats make everything better. Mm -hmm. And worse. No! Simultaneously, somehow. 11. <laughs> I'll do one more and then I'll play again. Okay. 11. Hmm. I haven't even seen the boss. There's a boss? Oh yeah, the skull. Thank goodness he added more lives. Oh, he's <laughs> brutal with one time. life. Uh, way to break into double digits. <laughs> Yay! Use two out of six. <gasps> That's him. Good job. Another oh my one. Gosh. Ah! Oh, luckily there's no ceiling. Do I have to get past a certain part? Why did I get two in a row? You have 23 now. Wow, they gave you lots of points. Well, they're deadly. I guess they're random, eh? Yeah, very random. Two in a row. It's like not even it's shuffle like that random. that telescope game where the high score was 25 or something. <laughs> oh, the telescope game. Is that where you had to catch the, the s stars as they went across the, the sky? Oh, God. That was hard. Oh, that's so hard. Sky gazer or something, something like that it was a very interesting game oh my god so but it was yeah it was so hard, hard. Hard, hard, hard hi cat oh it's a, of course it is yeah nostalgic super rare skull boss gets two one right after <laughs> the other yeah yeah that's a that you, you're at 27 points now that yep. gave you what all i need <laughs> just the skull bosses so just keep digging down for skull bo bosses oh yeah that's true get all your points that Maybe way i should do that <laughs> was that what it was called? Astronomer? Astronomer? I think was it, it was astronomer called Astronomer. Was it or something like that? Yeah. Damn it! Still Gosh. going. Still going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. down the middle is best because it's the shortest distance it, yeah, to either side it's random or it's placed so you might as well go down the middle because if you're on the left it's a long way to go if it's on the right so who did you say the developer was at this dr game? ludos dr. Ludos. mysterious dr ludos. nice only goes by his pseudonym there's not many people that only go by their pseudonym yeah that i can't find a name for but he's one of them well it's a really great game yeah, it is. The colors are gorgeous, very Dig Dug-like. Yeah, very Dig Dug. D-Train says, what are you harvesting this game? You're just getting points and coins, more than anything. Coins yep, and diamonds. Mostly coins. And then you occasionally run into some nope. bad guys. Not going to do that one. No, just keep going. Yeah, digging further down. Somebody <laughs> said that the colors change, but I think it was an optical illusion. And they, they don't change. They keep going down as you go down. BVG says some open pockets that you don't have to shoot through would be nice. Uh, yeah, that would be. They are not dilithium crystals or something. What are dilithium crystals from? That's a Star Trek. Star Trek? Okay. I knew 
it was something to do with work, with either warp drives, um, or like powering a DeLorean or something. Like <laughs> uh, There's gold in there, dirt. <laughs> there is. Who's burying all this gold? Is I it know. cats? Cats. Cats are bi burying the. Nostalgia says, "Wouldn't earrings. it be surprised? Wouldn't it be a surprise if Ludos was their real last name and they did have a PhD?" Uh, that would be funny. <laughs> Dr. Ludos. That would be very good. He's like, I didn't hide my name. I'm Dr. Ludos. Yeah. <laughs> BBG, what are dilithium crystals? You call yourself a nerd? I, I don't have as much uh, Star your... Trek uh, experience as yeah, uh, other game, other franchises. Geek card revoked. Well, I, I, I did watch Star Trek, but I'm not as Next Gen. huge. Next Gen I watched a lot of back in the day. I don't think they talked as much about the lithium crystals on the next generation as they did in the original. Yeah, I think it was more the original, was it? I don't yeah. know. Here, Pocock. Doctor Strange. Oh, so we're using our made-up names. <laughs> <laughs> Ludos is gain in Latin. Oh. oh. I don't also know what yeah. I'm Latin, but that's cool. Very cool. Now we know a little bit more. 45 points. Oh, you're kicking butt. Get yeah, there. Get butt. Get that coin. Good one. Get it good. Oh, get that skull. Get him. Get him. It's funny because nice. they don't go right to you. They go to they... you and stop, and then you have to move over by one. Uh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. Just like lots of good video games, you can't just sit there and shoot at it. You yeah, have to do some work. 57 points. Nope, not getting that. Too far. If it was like something special, I yeah. might go. The diamonds for it. you get more for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Coins are just oh, that's perfect. <laughs> 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 Didn't have to do anything. Uh, that one's close, but yeah. Yeah, Dev. I've watched some Star Trek now. I sit down only slightly more than I've seen some Doctor Who. That's very true. <laughs> well, you know there's what? so much the, the new shows I haven't watched any of, so. Yeah, we just finished season two of The Boys. Yes. Good, good. Excellent end ending. to season two. We're slowly moving through that. Yeah. Yes, I saw Doctor Who. Yeah. I was never a big Doctor Who fan either, so. It's just a little too cheesy. Just yeah. a little too cheesy. There are for some me. good episodes. We've seen a few a few good ones, yeah. but I'm I'm in agreement with James. I'm not a big oh. Doctor Who fan. I think it's actually faster to avoid the coins. Yeah. And just keep going for the big points uh, items. Tom Baker was wonderful, yes. Yes. And some of the new series have been great. Yeah. I've only seen little bits and pieces of it, really. Yeah. Like, when, when you hear Once, about one that's really interesting, like, oh, I've I'll give it a try, it. and yeah. then I go, eh, it's okay. <laughs> now, these you want to go on the sides for. This gives you a bit more room. it has to traverse the whole I agree nostalgic he says there is such an embarrassment of riches and nerd content oh, that it is impossible so, to keep up with it all so much yeah that's very true uh, more but we yeah the boys has been really good yes I recommended I mean we're late to the game and everybody loves it already yeah, but, but uh, sometimes you don't have time. There's a lot out there, and it's kind of nice when you find something. You go, oh, this is good, and then you have a nice stretch of a couple seasons worth of well, yes, four now. Four. I think the, la the fourth one came out this summer. So Plus offshoots as yeah. well. They made like Gen other... V or something they yeah. made as well. So, yeah, yeah, it's nice. And then a few of my other favorite shows will be starting up again soon. I love what we do in the uh -oh. shadows. Eh. That's coming back out soon. Eh. I think their final season, so you don't have to. For me. Oh, it's not that cheesy. I don't know where you get oh, that from. It is. Oh, it's fantastic. It is very cheesy. Um, and uh, the new um, Lord of the Rings series season yeah, two is was, coming out. First it was fine. Was, eh, it had some pluses and minuses, yeah. and I think the second season's coming out soon. So yeah. So I hope they took whatever you know people's opinions on, yeah. on the first one and yeah. It wasn't bad, but account. there were a couple of characters that uh, I wasn't too happy with, but that's okay. 
It yes, must... Nandor the Relentless is the greatest character ever. He is relentless. Nandor. <laughs> Nandor. And Matt, exactly. Who doesn't like Matt Berry? Yeah. I mean, come on. Matt Berry as Matt Berry. Yeah. <laughs> yes, in everything. And you hear his voice and you're like, that's Matt Berry. Yep. Like, it doesn't matter. It's one of Gizmo, those... Gizmo. <laughs> oh, so good. No, the only character I really like in it is the the uh, yeah emotional vampire. Or no, the um not the emotional, the uh, energy vampire. Energy vampire, yes. Well, I think emotional his. I, we've talked about this before, but his episodes that focus on him in like an office environment are the funniest things I think I've ever seen on yeah. TV. <laughs> Needs his own series. Oh, he's so good. Colin Robinson. Colin Thank Robinson. you, BBG. <laughs> Colin Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> absolute best absolute best yeah 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 we just finished uh day nine of scorsese's film festival film festival out of On 11 saturday half 11 we're slowly getting to the end getting through the 100 hours oh, of scorsese my, Every, oh my. everything he's ever directed yeah uh what was what was um wolf of wall street was the first movie on, oh, on Saturday. Of the day. Yeah. yeah, we watched Wolf of Wall Street, which Excellent. I think is one of the best films. No, I, I didn't think it was I, one of his best films. Oh, no, good. I think it's... I, I We had this conversation. Yeah. I like it because it's not quite so intense and violent, and no. there's a lot of humor in it. Oh, it's very funny. And so I feel like it's... it's you know, I love, I love his films, but some of them are a little much to take right they are um, a lot i feel like that film there's so much comedy in it and it feels like somehow they did improv which i'm not even sure if yes. that's true but it felt i think they did a some lot of the comedy of was very improvised in places so. some scenes are like yeah mm, did it need to be this long i think there's a lot of improv going on here yeah it's not known for his uh a lot of editing, I'd say. No. Not a lot of cutting back. No. He's like, yeah. it's going to be two hours, two and a half, three. I don't care. It's going to be a long movie, everyone. Buckle up. Yeah. <laughs> and then what else did we see? Uh... Documentary on a magazine. A oh, book review magazine. The New York Review. It was okay. Yeah. New York book review? New York yeah. book review. New York review of books. Uh, and it was... Just a retrospective of... Well, of, of the, the, ma the magazine or the, magazine. the, the publication. Yeah. Uh, it was sort of like a TV documentary, I guess. Yeah. Um, and it was a little... It was a little... A little dry. Uh, what's the word I want to use? Body. Um pretentious yeah not not uninteresting no there was a lot of really uh, interesting things but, he was talking about the importance of the magazine yes and it what? was good but there was a little bit of a little bit of intellectual pretentiousness there which yeah. uh, you know you take it you, yeah. <laughs> you know it wasn't a bad film uh but just like a little tv documentary and then the last one, one of them was vinyl vinyl which is, uh he directed the first episode of, of a, a series called vinyl about the early 70s the beginning of uh punk and hip-hop yeah um it just kind of introduced everything i liked it yeah it was um, fine it was fine yeah tandy didn't like it as much as i did i didn't hate it i, I just... would actually like to watch the whole series based on that because i love that yeah that i think it only got one season yeah. yeah that era of music is very interesting because so many new things came out in the um <laughs> in the early 80s so many genres that were so different the D train. If you can't be intellectually pretentious, how can you be pretentious? Well, that's a good point. That's true. Yeah. Pretentious, dumb, dumb pretentious. I don't know. Oh. Uh oh, here's a tougher. I haven't seen a boss. Movie. Maybe they're not yeah. in this. It took me a week to watch The Irishman. Says the D train. <laughs> that's Musty. coming up. Yeah. Um, I like it. It's way too long but i oh, like what's there long. yeah really needed to be edited yeah it's brutally long well it'll be interesting to watch it again because we've seen it i've seen it once so sometimes it's, it's interesting to see a movie for this a second time it's kind of like do you like eating cake or cookies do you want a hundred cakes or a hundred cookies? <laughs> yeah. No, you don't want a hundred cakes. No. You want to move, change it up a bit. Yeah. It's, I'll, I'll have a true. piece of cake, maybe two pieces. Yeah, yeah. But really not hungry. two cakes. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem with that movie. Um, and 
uh, on the last day, it'll be... Um, the, what is it called? The killing of the, the death? The, oh, um, the, killing of Flower Moon? What is yes. it? The Killers of Flower Moon? Killers of Flower Moon. Was so good. We yeah. watched it in the theater. Oh, that was fantastic. So I'm looking forward to seeing it again. Is that the last one he, he's done? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That'll I don't think the there's one. another one coming up. Yeah. Child Stony Mouse says, I could go for 100 cakes. <laughs> yeah. Over time. Yay, one right in line. I'll stop yeah. at 100. D Train says, I really like The Irishman. I just couldn't watch it in one sitting for a variety of reasons. We saw it I in knew the theater, some so... people who went to see it to see the theatrical showing in New York City. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, be, that would be fun. Um, we did see it in the theater. Yeah. Which was good. Some movies, they're just really elevated by seeing them in like a theater they environment. Are. You um, get to see it with a bunch of fans. People yeah. are making noises in reaction to what's happening on the screen. And... It's just a different different feel to things. What was the last movie? I did see, um, the, what is it, Wolverine vs. Deadpool or whatever that yes. movie was. I haven't it, seen it. That, was that the last one we saw? Yes. Did we see something together? No. No. In the last little while. She betrayed me. I went with friends. Devastating. <laughs> it's Ryan Reynolds and Devastating. Hugh Jackman. I mean, was not allowed. What else are a bunch of middle-aged women going to do? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed to go. Yeah. So, I'll wait. No, no, we can. I don't. I mean, it, yeah, it was fine. It was fine. Yeah. I, Second I one, I was not like overly excited for. It's like, oh, more. More you know, of the same. More crude humor. Humor. Okay. It's fine. I'm not sure any of them hold up to the first one, which I really no. enjoyed. Um, but but it was perfectly watchable and enjoyable. Like it wasn't. It wasn't a bad film. Okay, I think I'm gonna quit. Are you? At yeah. 79. Yeah. Look at you go. I think you've got the feel for the uh, movement. I think so. Yeah, some rock solid areas you have to surround. What is this? Yeah, I feel like a few gameplay elements could, could be added here. Yeah. Well, there's different games that we're, we're going to look at yes. the other ones. Okay. I wanted to get to 100, but it's kind of going a little bit slow. Well, it, it's a little repetitive. Yeah. You need some more of those uh, bossy spells. Yes. You need more Skull things that bosses. chase you. Yeah, the chasing is good. From the top or yeah. the sides or I don't know. Because I've kind of conquered all the different enemies. And I'm not going for the coins because literally it's not worth your time. To get across? Nope. You it, you go up in points much faster by just digging as fast as you can. And getting something with more points. Yep. Because see how fast I can go buy these coins? And getting something's worth 5 or 10 is much faster. There, see? This one? Three points. And I got it in no time. So the D-Train says, I've seen the theatrical re release of the extended edition of The Return of the King in the theater. Yes. So I have no problem with long movies. Oh, me too. Well, the D-Train, <laughs> we saw at Christmas time one of our local theaters has The Lord of the Rings trilogy extended edition which All basically three, takes in a row like 10, 10 hours 12, something hours. like that yeah and they run them continuously and it's the only time i've been in a movie theater where they're like yeah if you want to leave and bring food in from outside the theater you're, you're allowed, allowed to, to do it because there's so much time to fill yeah that you just can't eat all popcorn all day yeah oh nice that is amazing yeah they do it i think they do it a couple christmas. times a year but since lord of the rings always came out at christmas i think they usually do one right before christmas yeah it might be one of my favorite experiences oh, so amazing it was so much fun and everyone was there and they brought their blankets and their pillows <laughs> <laughs> and um in between, so basically your breaks were the credits rolling because the credits were like 30 20, minutes 20, long. 20, 30 minutes, yeah. And so when the credits came up, they'd bring the house lights up and they'd bring comedians out. Yes. And and they the would tell jokes and... while you're waiting over the 20 minutes before the next one played. Anyway, they do a really good... I actually want to do that again. I would do that again at Christmas if it comes up again. Ooh, really depending on what we're doing, it. it's a it's a commitment. Well, it's that we just don't do that day. every second it's week. Just the whole day. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so Trace is great. I'm coming to stay with you guys to do that in 2025. There you go. Make the trek. Yep. And we'll stay with you in New York. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah. No, it's a really. I, it's yeah. It's a really good, really good experience. Oh, we're almost to 100. We we are we are blessed to have 
an independent theater very close to us. Yes. And they play a lot of second-run films. They play a lot of 80s and 90s films and horror films. And events. And they have events. And I love that place so much. Yeah. Um, we donated it to yeah. them when they were having some trouble, uh, when they needed some money. They got alcohol legalized yeah. in our, the, s our province. Like, not joking. In, that theater in petitioned theaters. the BC government and got them to change the laws so that they could sell alcohol and make a profit. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they're pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, they're super cool. Yeah. And they ran my film twice. Yeah, yeah they did. They're so nice. Yeah. And they really support, like, independent artists. So. Local independent artists. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. We talk about enough. Yeah, yeah and they're I wonderful. Did a, <laughs> did a Q and A both times, I think. Did yeah. they do a Q and A both times? The showings. I think both they, showings yeah. did yeah. Q and A. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Br Polka says I saw Return of the King at a drive-in. That was Ooh, great. Yeah, there were kids it. doing a cheerleading routine in the field to encourage Ewan. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. Um, I haven't been to a drive-in in ages. Uh, where I grew up in Ottawa. Two more. There were a couple drive-ins around, and I don't think I. I think there might be one that still exists out there. It closed down. Recently. I think it, it was on its really, last legs. really recently closed down, but kind of a thing that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame those aren't a thing anymore, really. No, people want to be in their own house. House. Concord Ranger says, "When I lived in Wisconsin, I lived a matter of yards from a Sundance cin cinemas. It was amazing. Yeah. Nice. It's really nice to have like the little independent theaters." Fortunately, a lot of them aren't doing very well now, but nope. this one just diversifies. They yes. have events. So they sometimes stuff. even have bands play. Not many bands, um, but sometimes. Here we go. 100 points. Do it. Hooray! Hey. And die on the spikes. Yay! Oh, two more And lives. die on the spikes. I'm going to die at 100. Yay! And he does, he does uh, lives correctly. Yay! Yay! There's still a big, like, 10 screens one at the Mega Flea Market near Fort Lauderdale. That's a reason to go to Fort Lauderdale. This is not couch That's compliant. That's cool. No? No. I don't think you can get back to the main screen. No? No. You just keep starting over? Oh, I love how it explodes. That's awesome. He just keeps falling and he eventually Ooh. explodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to try that. I want to just keep falling and then dig myself up there. Yeah. Tactic if you want to get past something. True. You can dig yourself a hole. True. Yeah, I don't think you can get to the main screen without doing that. Okay, so as TV, NTSC, PAL, C cam. Uh, let's do survival mode. The D trend says uh, on us visiting them. Uh, absolutely, I will get the bathroom clean for you. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not coming today, so yeah. you have a bit of time. Um, DSC says we still have a number of small independent theaters in Pittsburgh. I do really like the independent ones. Um, and a lot of the big ones are the multiplexes are really hurting. So, so um, this isn't going to look any different. It's just going to be the what is this survival mode? It oh, means you two just people go people can play the same game, and it will be exactly the same. Oh, so the same patterns of things yes. as you go through. So okay. that coin will always be there. Those three will always be there. So <laughs> there's not going to be much different for you to see anything. Okay, here yeah. we go. We're gonna go into the third game. Oh, you got a coin! <laughs> Did I accidentally yeah. get a coin? Yeah, I accidentally got a coin. Okay, so That's we're awesome. going to be playing The Wall, which is actually a two-player game. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Chitlila says, I live near a cinema that has couches and beanbag chairs and shows old movies on Friday and Saturday nights. Wow, that's I awesome. used to go there often before COVID. Well, that that's sort of, yeah, part of the issue, too. Is, uh, people got used to watching movies at home. I think that's part of it. They're like, wow, I don't have to deal with people? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Next game. Mini Gun Miner is awesome. Yes, really it fun. is super fun. Very really well done. Yeah. Um, graphics are great. Movement is perfect now. Nice. It might be a little too easy now. <laughs> Minigun Miner? Yeah, because yeah. I had two lives and I was going forever with those two lives. It's I treat think just. Time. It's yum time. Nice. Yum, yum, oh, yum, 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 boy. Yum, yum. Another treat time. Oh, cats are lucky. Yeah, good night, nice. nostalgic. Gamma Dev redeemed again. 
Yeah, he's using up his winnings. Yep. Okay, cats. All right, the D train. Thank you for dropping in. Yes, thank you. I like it. Like it when you drop in and say hi. <laughs> um. Okay, predictions have started. Predictions. Place Bet on your, your bets. Bet on your local cats. Bet on cat. your kitties. Hey, buddies. Let's. Are you gonna win this time? Are you gonna try harder? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sit. You want to close that door? Oh. Thank you. Okay, cats. All right. Jingle cats. Predictions. Oh, some are Sit. Oh, plus. they're going sit three, three plus. Three plus. So that's pretty safe. Yes. Pretty yes. safe. Who won earlier? Mr. S Sid. By three points. Mr. Sid. Uh, so it's vicious. Sid by one. I'm going to forget after a while. Sid mm -hmm. by one. Sid by one. Sid by three. Atari by five. Mm. Sid by three. So, so far it's Sid by one tied and Sid by three tied mm -hmm. and Atari by three plus. <laughs> so Sid by three. It's up in the air. Yeah, Sid by yeah. three. Everybody <laughs> betting on that. Uh, it's not always advantageous to, to pile in on the sure bet. Sometimes it's advantageous to go one off the sure bet mm. because sometimes it, he might not make it. Sid ate a bunch of treats, and now he may be Atari's. Uh, like, he may be, I need have a full now. belly. I mean, his belly's quite small, so that's something to take into mm -hmm. account, too. He gets full pretty fast. There may fast. be a limit. That's maybe Unlike why Atari, he, who just keeps on eating. He will so eat until he explodes. Yes. <laughs> yes, he will. Maybe that's what happened last show. Yeah. Sid got full, and, and Atari, Atari's uh, bottomless pit of a stomach. <laughs> yes. It's just like, over. I can keep going. Yeah. All day yeah. long. <laughs> yes, you could. 15 seconds left, everyone. Place your bets. Place your bets on the cats. Place your bets. Yes. Warming up the cats. Oh, yes. Sid, is, Sid is laying down. Oh. He's waiting. Atari's more energetic. So let's reset the scores. Yes. And we're almost done. We okay. Are done. Okay, cats. Are you ready? Oh, great. Puss in bed's time. Puss Let me get time. some treats Rips in my hand. vicious. Well, we'll see. We will see. All right. Okay. Ready? Are you ready for food? Ready? Are you ready? And go! Who was that? Sid. Sid. Atari's no, the first close. one? Atari Sid. was... Did Atari hit it the first time? Did you see? I didn't. You're supposed to watch the he bells. He was blocking me. <gasps> uh, no, they get one each. One each. I couldn't see if, a, if Atari hit it and then Sid hit it. I don't think so. I don't think Atari hit There's it. There's Sid. I gave him one. Atari did get the first okay, one. Okay, good. I couldn't see him. He was blocking me, so... Oh, that was Atari. Two, two. All right. Your only job is to watch bells. There you go, Sid. Right. I can't watch the bell when there's a big chonkers cat in front of it. So sometimes you have to look too. There's Sid. Four. Atari. Oh, four, three. Sid is up by one. Uh, it's four, three. Sid is going to go. He's trying for a fifth. Oh, there's Atari. Atari is tied up four, four. And he's tipped the bell, but he did <laughs> ring it. It did it. count. Yep. Yeah. If he hit, rings it before he tips it, Sna that's fine. Smack it, buddy. Oh, Sid. Oh, Sid. Six, four now. Smack it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's hit too it harder. soft. Harder. Harder. It's not harder. bouncing up. It's not. It's not. It's fine. No, it's not. Oh. Well, neither cat can hit it then. Okay. It's... Someone hit a bell, please. There we go. Yeah. There's Atari. Six, five. There's Sid. Seven, five for Sid. Sid is adorable. He has all the cutes. Yes, he, he does. does. He's super cute. Oh, oh Sid again. Sid, eight, five, Atari. Oh, he's just two ahead now. We're within the one to two. Will Sid pull ahead to nine? Bring the gap to three plus. He does. Can Atari? This is the game changer. Oh. It is under three now. Atari could win. It's unlikely, but oh, it's over. Oh, and it's Sid. Oh, he's three. Oh, my goodness. There you go, some extras. Good kitties. Good kitties all around. Yep, Sid wins the game and the cutes. Yes. Sid sabotaged Atari's yeah. <laughs> Could be. There's something happened there. Yeah, we're going to have to check that bell <laughs> for, uh, for cheating. Sid, are you cheating with Atari's bell? There we go. Sid by three whiskers. Who won the big pot? I mean, it was 92% of the points went there. The big winner is Polygox. 8,000 points. Ooh, Polygox. 
go to Polygox and two other unknown people. Congratulations, Polygox, for picking the right cat. I mean, it was pretty safe, but it was close. Tuxedo cats are the smartest ones. <laughs> They're pretty smart. Yep. Is he technically a tuxedo? I think he's a cow cat, actually. <laughs> Is that an he's official got, term? No, they're yeah, they're different terms. He's kind of got spots, not full spots though. But he's more we're of a gonna cow. look up cat. Oh no! Patterns. Oh, it's very specific. You pet cat patterns? Yes, because I need to know. So you can find one on bi color cats. Bi color? Look up bi color cat patterns. Okay. Does this have it? Yeah. Oh, I hate when they show this. Yeah, I know. I do, too. Oh, my God. Look okay. at the bottom one. The, that one there. That one? The vet, one? No, one down. That one. There you go. Well, he's not... Sid, come here. Sid. He's like, I don't want you to look at my hide. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a fully black Sid. tail, but the all of these he's, cats have fully black tails. He's mask and mantle, so he is actually... He is connected... Oh, but he's not connected to the tail. No. But his head is connected to the black on top of him. His tail is disconnected. So he's not that. He's not a cap and saddle. But he's more like a mask and mantle, except he does have a break between the black and and the tail. Because it's over there. his back. It doesn't go around his body. Does his head connect to his body, though? Yes. So he's none of these. So he's more mask and mantle than anything else. But with a break at the tail. With a break at the tail. Cat rugs. I know it I know freaks me it's out, terrible. but I guess it's the only way to really show it. Um, but here's here's more. But that's percentage of 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 bi colorness, I think. Uh, he's not any. He's of these. a five. He's a five. His his underside is white, but he's got substantially more black on the top of him. Yeah. Yeah. Eight big cat rugs. <laughs> <laughs> they are eight big yeah. cat rugs. No, oh, all the kitties. Yeah, so he's mask and mantle with a tail break. He's got a break between. But I think that's him because, so a tuxedo, the black actually goes around the arms. Um, so so the upper, if the upper legs have black, then you have a tuxedo. But he's all white. His legs are all white. He does have a, a little black mark, but I, I like to call him a cow. He's a cow cat. See, he's got a break for the tail. And his head yeah. goes all the way down. It does there. look like Mission Impossible puzzles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They do. Yeah, you have to yeah. complete the cat. He's like, I don't like this. Oh, I don't I'm know about this. I don't know about yeah. this. He has to clean himself. And also, now. I don't see the cute nose. The cute nose. No, there's no cute nose. I love his cute little diamond nose. diamond nose. So, Yeah. Adorable. Cow Dangly cow. kitty. Yeah. Yeah, he's fairly pliable. He doesn't mind being picked up. He's we, very comfortable. He's not scared. Because we pick him up a lot. He also jumps on us a lot. Like he'll yeah. scale up to your shoulder and sit on your shoulder. So he seems very comfortable with high, being held up, being up high. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, third game. All right. Here Woo. We go. Here I go. It's a two-player game. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to read a little bit out before we go to it, I think. It's not much, but uh, it's a two-player game exclusively. So we do have to both play um so this is by jab alberto it's a 4k game from july 29th uh the wall is a two-player game inspired by the berlin wall mm. uh, the aim of the game is to erase the wall at each turn the player left or right hammer can select any of the bricks using the joystick once positioned on the brick that you want to remove press fire the selected brick and all the upper bricks that rest on it will be erased the player who removes the last brick wins. The last brick. Okay. So this is going to be quite strategic. I'm going to be terrible at this. I'll, I'm definitely going to lose the first the time. Wall by Jab. Nice title screen. Mm -hmm. And that's very nice. So you take turns. This yep, is me. So it's you. So it removes some bricks to so begin with. So if I went. With. Oh, what do you. How, I thought. So none of them solely rest on that one. They're resting on other ones still. Oh, I see. see. That one and that one are resting on I that getcha. one. And that I getcha. I getcha. If I remove that one, you lose. Uh, the two. left one will go. Two. And that one. Yes, that's right. And like if I remove that one. Mr. Atari, tear down this wall. <laughs> so if I get Is rid of David Hasselhoff in the game? At the end. Yeah, yeah, he does a performance on top of the wall. 
Uh, so if I take that one, it'll take all four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's some line count issues in this game. Very minor. Or maybe it just readjusts. That was a, that was a clearing move. Okay. Me, you, me, you. Yeah. Um. I know how to do it. Yeah, you're gonna. Be, yeah, you're gonna win. Me, you're gonna win. you, me, you, me. Done. I win. Yeah. Because you have to select yeah. a brick. I get it. I told you I'd lose the first time. <laughs> but the second time. There you go. <laughs> and Berlin goes crazy. It is united <laughs> once again. For the use of nice. So it looks like it starts the same. Yeah. Each time. But you get to go first. Is that an advantage or a disadvantage uh, or is know. it random? I can I can just take a nice chunk out and So can I. I'm not going to count till it gets down because it's so random. You could take out one, two, three right now, four, five if you wanted. Five. Four, three. As long as there is options and there is not even and odd options, if there's both even and odd options, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, then it is still up in the air. That is the issue with this game, right? If yeah. You can, if you can brick count. <laughs> not sure I can. <laughs> At this point, no, there's way too many ones and twos. I don't like any of this. It doesn't really matter at this no. point. There's ones and twos. You can take one brick out or two bricks out, one brick out, two bricks out. It doesn't matter. Still at the same point. Doesn't matter. Still doesn't matter. Or does it? Let's see, one. Can you take out two? Three. Now, it's me. Yeah, see, once you're down to four. <laughs> me, yeah. you, me, yeah. you. Yeah, it's easy at this point for you to just, okay, do I take out one or do I take out two? I can't take out two. Oh, no, you can't. So I've lost. So you set me up to lose and your last move. True. You can't take out two. I thought you could. Tanya always lets James win the first round. Yeah, Tanya won. Vitoko got there first. It took us a second Tanya to get won. that. Tanya <laughs> won. Yeah. Counting bricks is not allowed in this casino, sir. We like to <laughs> Good one. Double down. Uh, and does he sing? Yeah. Oh, it's random. It is. No, they oh. give different patterns. But like, yeah, it's always going to come to a point where... I feel like in the beginning you just knock off a bunch, but if you were really smart, you would ha know the exact number of bricks to take out each turn, and, and if it's odd or even. Do you know what I mean? Yes. What? <laughs> Nothing. What did you say? Nothing. What did you say? <laughs> Look at that cute kitty. What are you doing, little cute kitty? Did you figure out a strategy? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it'll work for me. I have to really count when it gets close, but. Did fake fair go to minor strategy? I have a minor strategy too, but I'm just I'm not gonna be able to figure it out properly. I know that much. Um It's too easy. 
this point. Too easy to uh, win or lose? Lose. Too easy to lose? Yeah. Yeah, this game is yours to lose when you're playing. Like, if you make the wrong move at any point, and you don't brick count, you're, you're done. And the other person is brick counting. Yeah, I, I was like... Ugh. Trying to set that up and no, fall right I, I, for it. No, I was trying to... Yeah. It's okay. One more. Brutal game. And just requires a lot of time. You That's need what I was two going at the for. end. Yep. You need two at the end. That's what I was going for. I was reducing the bottom ones yes. down to two. Yes. If you went for the other bottom then one, it's done. then it's, I win. Yeah. But then I start picking away to reduce it so that I'm trying to set you up that you pick the Yeah. Whatever, I know what you're saying. Even. I know what you're saying. Yeah. James the Relentless. <laughs> <laughs> So there yeah. we go. That is the wall. Uh, from here on out, it's just a lot of counting. <laughs> just a lot of counting. It's anticipating. Yeah. Yes. It's neat, though. I like it. I like it. Oh, no. Oh, no. By a lot. That's By not good. Lot. I wish I could solve that once and for all, but it's it's an issue when there's any sync issues with mm. games. Because once a synchronization issue happens with a game, the retro tank falls out of, um, not the retro tank, the uh, capture, mm. capture card, falls out of sync. For some reason, I can't find a good way to set it up so it can't fall out of sync. And it even can fall out of sync when I turn it off and on because it misses picture when it's trying to capture. Um, visually, this it's an astounding, astounding game. Mm. But it's just going to get more and more frustrating for us to play. And it's just going to be more and more pausing. Thinking and, thinking, and staring. Thinking ahead. Yeah, it's do, very do, 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 true. Do, 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 yeah. 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 So it should be in sync now. Uh, so we're on to our last game. Uh, it is a 64K game, and the Harmony Encore with my machine does not like 64K games. Um, so we're going to switch over to the plus cart for this last one. And it is, don't do anything yet, XUMP. Now, how would you say XUMP? Jump. Jump, like the Jump. Chinese letter X. Jump. 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 Like G. Feels like Jump sounds good, Jump. but Jump. Jump. By Nop90, NOP90, Gisberto Rondinella. It's a 64K game. This builds from August 29th. Mm. Uh, is that even possible? No, it's not. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, because that's in the future. Uh, Gisberto. Hey, Gisberto. Yay. Hello. Now, how would you. Rondinella. Rondinella, how would you pronounce. The X? The X. Like a J? Like j jump, 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 or jump? Jump. Or jump. Just jump? Just straight up jump. Okay. <laughs> well, that's Rod Castler. <laughs> <laughs> Rod Castler says jump. Um, so this was also originally made on the Lynx, the Atari Lynx. Mm. Um, and this was worked on quite early in 2021. Why don't Canadians pronounce X like... Zed? Zed, like your crazy Zed is in Zed. 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 <laughs> Funny. Um, so, uh, Nop also did Fortitude, Bug Hunt on the Lynx, Final Melee on the Lynx, Impossible Mission on the mm. Lynx. Uh, these are all Lynx. He mostly concentrated on Lynx games. Lawnmower, Minimal, Nutmeg, On Duty, Santa Factory, Starblader, and Jump 2 on the Lynx mm. as well. And we're actually going to be doing a Lynx Day coming up. Excellent. Where we're going to be playing a bunch of NOP 90 games. Okay, okay. And you know what NOP stands for? No, I do not. It stands for no operation. That 
instructs the 6502 to do nothing mm. for a certain amount of time. And if you do NOP 90, that means it does nothing for 90 clock cycles or whatever. Uh, I forget how many clock cycles. One mm. clock cycle? One color cycle? Um, so this game came in first place in, out of one entry in Silly Venture 2024 uh, SE, because that was the only entry for uh, Atari 2600. Ah, uh, gotcha. So go to my ROMs. Okay. And go to uh, that one. Excellent. This is originally a retro guru game on Amiga. Oh, on Amiga I first. Well, I don't links. see. Yeah. I don't track Amigas, so yeah. yeah, that's why I didn't know. And that's their logo. Usually nice. The guy floats up and down. Jump. Uh, jump retro by retro guru. So new game because we're not continuing anywhere. Now there are some um, line count issues in this game. Okay. So you'll see some flashing, but my retro tank is able to smooth those over. Oh, good. So if you play this on an LCD right now with this build, you may have some issues. Mm. On a CRT, it's probably fine. On an emulator, it is fine. Mm. Um, but it, he's, he's working on the line count issues. Gotcha. So what you do is yes. you jump on those platforms and they clear after you get off of them and you make it to the other side. Yay! And there's a time limit in the top right-hand corner and you see that little... That little jump, screen jump. <laughs> and you have to clear them all? Yes. That is your goal, to clear them all. So, now you can step on them and step off of them again. There you go. And it's set up nicely as kind of tutorial-ish. No, it adds that's things exactly in. what you need. It is. Now there's eight levels in this... Um, in this game, in this version of it. So careful when you're moving oh. the joystick. It, yeah, it's a little... You can't hold it sensitive. down too long. That's yeah. fine. And you get an extra life every level, so it's kind of nice. And as the levels go up, you can't um, take too long. I mean, you get a fair amount of time for these early, easier levels. Link's Day. Yes, Link Day, Link's Day is coming up. What's the red again? Uh, two movements oh. over top. So you kind of messed up already. I think I did. Oh, maybe. No, I think you can go over it and then go all the way back. Or yeah. you can finish on it. Yeah. I ran out of time. Uh, oh, Move wow. Move your butt. Move your butt. So updates for this. Uh, find the attached ROM presented at uh, Silly Venture 2024 SE. It works fine on Stella, but the compo, uh, but at the compo, some screens are not displayed correctly, perhaps because the game is NTSC and the console is PAL. I'll check on one of my 2600 when I'm about back home from vacation. Um, so originally this said on 2021 when he first posted, it used to be active in the Atari <laughs> Link section. Did you make it? No. No. Uh oh, four lives left. But the 2600 was my very first console, so last week I decided to try some coding for it. Uh, since I'm one, I'm since I'm one of the co coder so for wrong. Retro Guru team, I started to port a game of ours that I already ported to other consoles, in including the Atari Lynx. Oh, that's so good. I'm not a 6502 ASM expert, but I code an ASM for the Lynx when I need to do some things not possible in C. Two, guy, two lives left. I know that the VCS architecture, because last year I tried a crazy project to run 2600 code on the Lynx. Obviously, I failed for lack of CPU speed. How I could hope to race a code that raced a beam, but at least implemented a big part of the core of the system. What I did for this new project... Oh, you went up? I went over... Oh, yeah, it's, no. it's a little easy, too easy to kind of just go over the boundaries. It's sensitive, yeah. Oh, see, that's not what I want to do. No, one life left. Oh, okay. Do you do lives properly? Or did it did it bad? No! no he did it bad! It's one life. It's the life you're on and not lives in reserve. <laughs> uh, you can continue. I think there's only... No, you can keep continuing, but you only get three lives to continue. Yeah, you can finish with that. There you go. Can. Sure you can. Don't go in that yet. Do all the way around and then do it. What are you oh, doing? I thought I had to end on the on the gray, on the solid square. Oh, you do. I forgot about do that. Do you? Yes, you do. I finished one of these puzzles and... Um... Oh, no. I don't, I don't... Anyway. Somebody commented on our bickering. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> on YouTube. And I'm like, so yes, slow. we are in agreement. We do yeah. backseat um, game. 
<laughs> and we don't like either of us doing it, but we do it to each other. Yeah, we end up doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah, so if you make it to that last one, you're, you're kind of stuck. Huh. Yeah. What am I missing? I'm missing something there. I couldn't get past this as well when I was practicing it. Really? Yeah. Oh, Prow7 knows how to do this one. Really? Oh, damn it. I don't know. I think... I must have to go around. How do you do it? That's all. No, see, you die in the middle in the middle then. Uh, now, do you go a certain length and then go back oh. and leave just one there? Oh, I don't know. Remember to continue. Oh, there you go. Um, I think that might be it. You go on the red and then just try and leave that last one. Oh, my God. Wasting lives. It's just so, so uh, slippery. Slippery. Um, what I did for this new project uh, far was to collect a lot of 2600 code snippets and assemble them to have a basic rendering core and enough free RAM to be able to complete game logic. I added five different levels that could be changed with the select switch. Oh, two steps, one back. Rain! Hey! Thank you for returning, Starberry System. Were you, did you go off and, and play some more <laughs> and then came back again? Oh, now what did you do? Two and one back? I didn't do that right. I think it's a certain number and then back. One, two, then back one. One, two, and back one. Maybe. Something like that, like do 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 do. Yes, yes, yes. Now, perfect. Now you can end on. Won't do it fast enough. Ah! Hurry, just run. <gasps> I don't know what level this is. There is eight levels, or that. <laughs> Try walking only on the red one and leave the last one. Yep. Mm. I just I just beat all the Game & Watch units represented in, in Smash. Smash Brothers. Nice. Oh, very nice. nice. Some entry in some form. So this has more of the same. Is that... Am I dead there? Oh, you left it. needed to go back and forth a bit more. There you go. right off so slippery <laughs> the player can run along all the level screen with four different sprites four directions now i have to add logic to remove the tiles after stepping on them check if a uh, jump goes off out of the path should not be hard because the worst part was to draw the screen the other things go in the v blank should have a tech <sighs> demo to show in a video or one or two weeks i also have to code other links projects so i can't code this every day but at the moment, I don't really know how to add the missing elements of the game, like the bombs and the only one-way tiles, because only two cycles left in the scanline rendering routine of the level. <gasps> so close. Was that the death? Or, yeah, it was the death. Yep. Oh. So close. I need to think about this. No! Can't think. Oh, no! I think the results are so far as promising. The graphics guys of the Retro Guru team are complaining they don't like too much the screen layout, but they grew up in the Amiga era and can't understand the lack of a frame buffer. No <laughs> frame buffer for you. You have to draw the line one by one. It is brutal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing too slow. Yeah, but you're getting the idea. Oh, you got it. Just do that faster. <laughs> it's hard. What was I? Di what did I start with? Oh no! Oh no! What did I start with? Did I do this first? Yes, you did. Just get rid of it. And run for it! Run for you it! You can't run! Run! You can get it! Run! Oh, run! You can maybe? No, you can't. No, no. you have to get that one before. Everybody, continue. <sighs> It doesn't land on continue. It starts on new game, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to trick you into starting again. No! It is hard. Is Berto Rondinella says start on the other side? Hmm. Oh, I think you got it. You can do it if you're quick. Up, down, up. Oh, too far! No, no, it wouldn't have mattered. I wouldn't have oh, gotten yeah. off of it. I would not have gotten off of it. It's no? on a corner. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my Wasting God. Wasting time. Nope. Oh, I have to 
go back. Oh my god. <laughs> this is one of those games oh, where it's, stop uh, it. <laughs> it's uh, action and puzzle. It is. Action puzzle game. It's speed. It's a speed game. Yeah. Do that. Oh no. It's four to back. No fried buffer for you. Two weeks. Oh no. no. Oh, you did it. Go around. <gasps> oh no. I can't. I can't. Oh no? no. Oh, is that one off? That's a, there's a gap there too. On the red scares, do like the previous level, one back every two. No. Oh. <laughs> He's just running. Run! Run! <laughs> yeah, I think you want to clear out that extra one that's right there. I feel like there's... Or leave it till the end. Fast enough though. I it's levels. What did I do? I can't. Brutal Gisberto. Uh, what did I do? On on the reds. Yeah, Gisberto says on the red squares do like you did before. No, I, yeah, I, I saw that. Ugh. Oh, I forgot that one. Oh no. try it yep Here. i like these games that prepare you for life <laughs> <laughs> sliding off ah oh, messed up already ah now um mm. if you die immediately i'm going to show you something mm. if you sacrifice a life yeah you can see the screen as long as you want oh true that's not for cats. <sighs> yeah. So I would get rid of that tiny one or leave it. It doesn't matter because you have to end up on that anyway. Well, so it's it's that bottom one, the one beneath the three red. Those That's three red are easy. One. That one's easy. The red one you can just bump on and off of it. But that bottom red one, I feel like. I think you want to go left, down, around, all the way around. Because like this. Yeah. Be careful there. Back one. Oh, what? What? What happened to that? The left. You you got that. Oh. But you, I didn't do it twice. Oh. Yeah, I think you want to do, do what twice. you you did you did before. I got rid of one early. Yeah, I don't think you should have. Did you go, go red and down? Ah, uh, nope. See that wrecks it. Does I, it? Yeah. You need to get it. Then back up and over at no. And then to the left? No. 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 I should a dead go to zone. the left. Try that again. Yeah. Don't start from the left left side, says Gisberto. Getting. I feel like that. This is oh, the solution. Oh, no, it's not. No, you're oh, going to no. fall off. You're, that's, so I got rid of that. Yeah. Ah, that's what I've done before. Don't go to the left, he says. Yeah. Don't start. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Come on. So 
so scary. I'm going to do new game. Yep. Just go. You know. What? Nope. You just you just killed yourself. No. 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 Uh just just go to the go to the right. Straight. Go over? to the right. Yeah, start there. Go down. Do that little guy. So then Then to the next one, down one, down, down, because oh, it turned. But I can't get back. There's an empty spot there. As soon as you go right, there's an empty spot on the right-hand side. You cannot finish by going around like that. I think you might have to do this bottom loop first. But you can't leave that though. You can't leave that bottom thing there. No. Like you can't you can't get that. Cat. Can you get the cat please? He's being very naughty. Yeah. He needs some What happened? Yeah. Oh, I knew it. Oh, don't let him scratch it. Um the pause is a random amount of time on the title screen. It makes me crazy. And I missed the continue. I knew I would. I knew I would miss the continue. That's okay. We'll blaze through these. Ah. I like these games. that prepare you for your life. With frustration. Oh my god, that is frustrating. The zigzag confuses me. We can feel James's patience running out. There we go. Oh, we're back. Okay. Yeah. Ah, messed up. Did you? Yeah. I don't think you did. No, there's an empty space and I couldn't get it. What back. empty space? On the right hand side from the launching platform, there was a space that I, that was removed. Um, it was removed? I wouldn't have done that. Nope. Dead again. Can yeah. you wrangle that cat? He's going to jump on my desk. Can I play? You are really naughty. Here's a cat trap. Dead. Dead. Why am I dead? Because you Warning. have no way to get back to Warning. that. Warning. The left. The treat ball is loose. The treat ball is loose. The treat ball is loose. Three balls are loose. Good timing. Thank yeah, you for rescuing me timing. from these bad, bad kittens. They are so naughty. Kittens. Trick ball time. We will defeat this level. We will. You wonder why I leave some games last <laughs> in, the, in the episode? It's because I know they are going to be challenges. They are going to be tough. And I knew this game was going to be tough. Okay, ready? One for you. And another one for the gray cat outside of... Oh. Oops. Stinky treats everywhere. Can't do it fast enough. <laughs> but have you figured it out? No. <laughs> well, speed does not matter then. Okay, cats. Ready? I'm going to give you a slightly harder one, Atari. And for Sid, I'm going to give a slightly easier one. I'm going to go wash my hands. Stinky, stinky freak. Last time. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Broadcastler was about to unleash the ball, but mm. Vitoko beat him to it. Thank you, Vitoko. I, I almost had it, and then now I'm like, what did I do wrong? Oh, I can't Ooh. remember what I did. Yeah, you don't have it. You almost no. have it. Oh, what? oh. You did, whatever you just did was really good. I can't remember what I just did. <laughs> That's it. That's the ticket. That was it. It was to move to the right off of that one. Go, Tanya, go. Not fast enough. Yep, that's it. So what did I do? Go over, down, over. Yep, and then you can complete it. Yes! Good job! Oh my god, that's brutal! Eventually. <laughs> brutal! Is there one more level? Yes. This might be the last one. This one's much easier. Oh, I didn't do it fast enough. Yeah. Casperto says, good job. Thank you so much. Oh, I did that oh, too fast. No. Off the edge. Yeah, those levels should be reversed. <laughs> oh, oh, what oh, is boy. the flash? What are those? What are those? Teleporters? Teleporters. Flashing, flashing things are always teleporters. Mm. Oh no, you should have gone to the left instead of Can you of the go right. to the left? From that last one, you went down. Nope. No, no, no. You went down to an empty spot that could, had no escape. Mm -hmm. What are the flashing one. ones? I'm guessing teleporters. Oh, there's so many back, so much backtracking. Desperto, oh. what are the flashing ones? There's so much back. Go fast to the teleport gate. And then go fast back. Oh boy. Okay, not that teleport gate. Okay, careful, 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 don't pass anything. I made a mistake and I had to start over. There. Oh, when you click Yeah, when too it goes fast. to the title screen, just let it go. Oh, so like just rush. Ah the red stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, doing that fast is really hard. It is. Because Barato, can you please make the default continue and not new game? It's so nerve wracking. <laughs> no. no, too far. Oh, go fast back. Do I need up and then back? What is that flashing thing? I don't know what that extra one is. But once you make it to that thing, go up and then back again. And then up, back down, and backtrack. Go, 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 go. Oh! But now I know how to do it. held it down too long. I didn't hold it down for very long, but it's very sensitive. The game disagrees with you. It's very sensitive. The game says, no, you held it down too long. It is very sensitive. But you kind of want it to be because you want to move fast. Yay! Don't go back on red scores on this level. <laughs> yeah. We figured that out eventually. <laughs> yes, yeah. Want to do the next one? Yes. Hogging all the levels. I, I yeah, because I, I... Oh, that's it. We're done. Eight levels. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. Well, that's, that's all for now. Well, it's it's a really fantastic good. start. I hope you add more levels. Well, how, awesome. how many levels does the, the Lynx links? or Amiga one have? Does that have a lot? I think there was this 32. Awesome. Oh.
How is the, uh, did you get them all? Oh, that one's empty. And there's one left. Excellent, excellent game. Uh, I think really awesome. He was worried about the representation of the platforms. No, I think I think it works really well. Yes, yep. I think it does as well. It, it. I mean, they could be double wide. Forty-eight levels and thirty-two <sighs> secret. Oh That's my gosh! A lot. Oh. oh, you guys couldn't see the end. Yeah, it was cats. Uh, oh, I mean, it wasn't sorry. pure cats, but yeah. Um. Was there a reason to not make them double wide and make them alternating steps? Because I don't see any reason not to make every platform double wide. You see what double I mean? Wide. I see the one to the kids. I know the, the horizontal versus the vertical. Yeah, like either way. No, I mean, see those down, that yeah. path downward from him? Yeah. You can make them double wide. There's no reason not to make... He's double. He's, he's whatever, eight across. Um, and those are four across mm. and they could be eight across as well and to match his width. And when you're going horizontally, those are all, there's four and I know why I know why. Yeah. Because he wants to separate and show you how many there are. And if he made them eight wide, there'd be no separation. It'd just be a long mm. line. Yeah. That that's why. Avoid the zigzag. And, and jump mm. two is another 48 levels. Wow. So, uh, That's a, a lot. lot. <laughs> That's a lot. It looks really good, though. Yeah. I can't think of another way to do it. One way I you think could it looks do good. it... I, I think it looks pretty good. ...is alternate it. It, it looks fine. I'm just thinking of alternate ways, because he was worried about the look of it. Oh, no. Is, is do it like this, every second one. What do you mean? But it would be double the width of the happy face. Um, yeah, of the zoom. width of the happy vase is fine. See the one below him? Yeah. Does ladders. Um, and every second line there's one, mm -hmm. but the one beside it, make it one down from that. So it's like ladders. Oh, like alternating. Alternating lines. and But you could still fill it out. I'm trying to think. But that's up they... and down, but with, that wouldn't work for the horizontal, so. Yeah, it would Whatever. still work. It would mm -hmm. just, it would still fill it out. Yeah, I guess that red paths have a max horizontal length. Anyway, I think it's really fun. But it's it might awesome. be a difficulty doing it on the red ones. That's yeah. the issue. And that's yeah. and you have to plan something different for the red ones. So it's totally fine how it is. It is wonderful. Once you start <laughs> playing, maybe visually while you're watching, it's not as easy to distinguish what you can go on and what you can't. I but think, once you're playing, I think just with the horizontal, it. it looks like gaps. So it's a little hard in places to see what's a gap and what you can go across on. Yeah. Um, when it switches from the horizontal to the vertical. Um, but but I think you get the hang of it really quickly. So yeah, because he takes up two every issue. time. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's very... Yeah. yeah, I'm screwed up. <laughs> I'm just, just playing dead. around. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very good stuff. Thank you for joining us, by the way. Yes, <laughs> thank you so much, Gisberto. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very looking forward voice. to yeah. his. You know, one with that funny voice? Might, yeah. <laughs> so let's squeaky. see what's coming up on the show. Yay. Did you get all the treats? Are they empty? So actually the next show uh, is an Atari 7800 day. Nice. And we have an exclusive update of Space Peril um, from Carl G. Nice. Um, and Asotos, mm -hmm. um, who is Inufuto, who does the cross platform, is Japanese developer, does cross platform games for like 50 systems. And that's a new game he's put out. And 7800 came out today. The 8-bit 5278 came out today. But then the Tuesday after that, it's Nop 90 Day. Nop 90! With three of his games. Starblader, which is an update. And we have an exclusive update oh. uh, from him. He, I've been talking with him. And he has given us an exclusive update oh, of wonderful. Starblader. Nice. And we're also going to pl be playing his brand new releases of Gotcha Gun and Fruity. Nice. Fruit Y? Fruit Y? <laughs> Fruity. Um, and we're also going to be putting in Paratroopers, another Lynx game as well. 
but we have an after dark and I put it put it for tomorrow. Okay. Um, because it ends on the weekend. We have a pretty busy weekend, right? Yes, we do. Yes. Um, so I thought Wednesday's good because Thursday you're busy, Friday mm -hmm. we're busy, Saturday we're busy, yeah. <laughs> Sunday we're busy. So kind of tomorrow. Sounds good. Or the worst Thursday. So I put tomorrow and we're going to be gotcha. trying for a high score in Berserkoids for Lynx. Lynx again. More Lynx. Uh, right for Lynx. Lynx high score club round seven. So it's Berserk, but on Lynx. Um, and then an After Dark sometime next month. This one is going for quite a while. Uh, Last Drag DX on Last Drag DX contest held mm -hmm. by a machine. Nice. Where we won last time. The tie and the patches oh, yes, and the stickers. Yes, yes. Very nice. Try for uh, two wins. It's doubtful. There's some very good uh, Jaguar strike. players yeah. out there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's usually quite a struggle. We usually get second or third place. Um, so I'm going to try my hardest, but I doubt. I doubt I'm going to make it. Um, and the person who gets first all the time kind of gave up their first place so we could win. <laughs> Because they were dominating. Well, we didn't come in first. They came in no, first. No, they we, came in first. We got a prize because they didn't want a prize. So yes. that was very nice. Yes. Very nice of them to get that up. So. And then yeah. eventually uh, on September 27th, which is exactly a month away now. Mm. Can you believe it? PRGE. Oh, my gosh. We're going to be broadcasting live. Yay! Showing you the showroom floor. Visiting um, Atari Age booth. Mm -hmm. Atari booth. Um... We're going to be visiting Champ Games booth. We'll be visiting the Audacity booth. Mm -hmm. We'll be visiting Songbird booth. So all Atari booths. Um, and the Atari booth is right in front. Yeah, I heard that. It's going to be open booth on number the 101. Friday. It's going to be <sighs> yes. in the opening day. Okay, yeah, so, so we're going to be helping awesome. uh, Al set up on the Thursday. He's that's put out awesome. the call for uh, volunteers for nice. helping him out. Set Excellent. up on the Thursday. It's going to be a bit of a rush. Mm -hmm. Because uh, there isn't the Friday to do leftover setup. So it's going to be lots of box assembly, lots of uh, um, setting cabling, up, setting, setting up, up televisions, yeah. lots of 1702s, <laughs> lots of uh, adapters. Very nice. Please tell me some indie dev has a booth called Linked In. Linked In. Oh, that nice. would be good. Um, so lots of fun stuff coming up. And I'm going to try and convince Albert to do a spotlight uh, sometime before PRG to talk about PRG and talk about Atari Age and all the things that have happened in the last year. So much has happened. So many adjustments. Um, that will be a lot of fun, but I have to convince him to do that. Okay. He's very busy, as yeah. you can imagine. Oh, yeah. Doing more than just PRG. Yes, getting out no. those last chance orders, finishing those up. Yep. Then all the other orders and getting new games ready for PRG. Oh, my God. Uh, and moving. He's moving, too. That's crazy. He's crazy, yeah. crazy busy guy. Uh, so what did we play today? Uh, we played a Tumblr's 2K game. Awesome. Really great. Yeah, thank you, Arm Scar Coder. Yeah, it was a great action game. puzzle game. Yeah. I think that's a, a big theme tonight, actually. Action, action puzzlers. Action and puzzlers. Yeah, yeah. Minigun Miner, more action, not yeah. really puzzle. More but, action and puzzler, but still. Yeah, really yeah. fun. I think he's found a better balance for difficulty. For the difficulty, it was really hard last it's time. It's slightly too easy now, maybe? For uh, me, you know anyway. what? I would just like to see more obstacles. I think adding in more and more dangerous obstacles. Well, even obstacles you can't drill through might be an idea. Ooh, I don't know if that's easy. Undrillable obstacles. Like rocks. A couple yes. of rocks that you actually have to maneuver around. That's a good one. That would be good. Yep. Something like that. Some a, a few more obstacles, maybe a few more, a few more. And like baddies. somebody mentioned, maybe some caverns that are pre-drilled, just to just to make it interesting. Yeah. Like they don't have to be big, just little gaps. Yeah. That you can kind of get into. They have a rock and then a cavern, right? Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. And the wall, really creative. Yes. Really great graphics. Yeah. Really simple, fun game. Like it reminds me of like tic tac toe. You know, it's one of those yes. games where you just once you figure out your strategy, you, you can it'll, think ahead. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, okay, what am I aiming to get at the end? Or connect and then, four. Yes, one it's like those, one of those. It's like one of those two player strategy, not yeah. to the level of chess, but to the that level. Chinese checkers, yeah. connect four yeah. checkers, all those. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Really looks really good. And jump, if we're pronouncing that correctly, jump. has an X in it. Jump, yes. jump, yeah. jump. Um, I think he has pretty much got the look mm -hmm. 
and the obstacles. He needs to fix the line count, but it is very minor. Mm. He just needs to shave off a bit of the line count. It looks good. It plays well. It, it's really fun. I love those puzzle games. So yes, and this and this speed factor really does kind of get you <laughs> frantic yeah, it, it, to get through it. It is nice. It has that timer. I I think games like that where there's a puzzle but there's also a speed factor really yeah. are a challenge because you have to yes. remember what you want to do, but you have to do it so precisely and quickly to get through it. So yeah, and his like is a precision like game. Too. It is a precision. It's game. It's not just I have to solve this puzzle. I have to solve it fast. And precisely. And not fall off, you know, the yeah. edge of the, of the board. And so. apparently there's, like, moving obstacles. In oh, really? In levels, nice. too. Nice. Where there's, like, enemies that I you like have that. to avoid. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I'm looking forward to more levels for Jump as well. Mm -hmm. So I think he's got... I think he's still struggling with the enemies a bit. Because um, he hasn't done a lot of 6502 coding. So... Um, yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, thank and thank you for uh, being in the chat, Gisberto, nice. and uh, we're looking forward to your big links day next oh, Tuesday. That's gonna be exciting. Um, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, long show. Yeah. Three well, hours. We started a little bit late. And two rounds of cat treating and <laughs> yeah, uh, they're spoiled, spoiled little and monsters. Sid, uh, won both times. Hi, Sid. Did he win by three both times? Yeah. Sid. We're going to have to change the rules. Because <laughs> you are just too good. I don't know. But then Atari won the one game and he destroyed him. Yeah. Um, we it, will have to look into this pink bell and maybe... Uh, yeah, the, the pink bell is having some issues. We have another one upstairs. Yeah, it's catching. It's, it's catching. So I think maybe that's causing some issues. It bounces back, but then every once in a while it gets kind of stuck. Yeah. It's, not, it's fine now, but... Anyway, we have a yeah. couple of backups. So. We do. We'll have yeah, to change the colors. Backup bells. <laughs> well, thank you for hanging out with Yay! us. Rod Castler, Gamma Dev, Dan ABC, Vitoko, Gisberto Rondinella. Yes. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Strawberry System 32, congratulations on your coaster. Um, <gasps> Rod Castler says it's six. It's uh, oh, six past new, midnight. midnight. And it's my birthday. Happy it's birthday. Happy birthday, Rod Getting started with ZPH. So, Strawberry System uh, 22. Did I yes. say 32 before? 22, please message me in here on Twitch or in Atari Age forums or james at um, zeropagehomebrew.com yeah. so I can get this to you. Yay. Congratulations. Uh, who else? Prow7. Uh, huge ass. Crunchy the Clown. Double down. Uh, it's Kev. Dan AVC, Polygox, Chalstani Mao, Chitlitla, BR Pocock, D Train, -train Phil Meyer, DMC88877, yep. Concord Ranger. Lots of people today. Thank Tons. you for joining us. Yes. I like a good Tuesday. Uh, yeah, Tuesday. Yep. Very good Tuesday. Yep. Uh, nostalgic. Lots of first time chatters in there. Yeah, lots and of not new just people, people asking for, for views. Because that happens a lot too. There were There's a lot. There were like four all at once in there. there but, were, yeah. Yeah, but we got rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, have a good uh, rest of your Tuesday if yes. it's not already your birthday on Wednesday. And, and yes, exactly. <laughs> have a great week. Yes. And we'll be back tomorrow for After Dark, most likely 8 p.m. Yep. Pacific time, 11 p.m. Eastern time. Super late. GMT. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we're back for a full show on Friday on with Friday. Atari 7800 yes. games. Hi, baby. Come on. And and your other co-hosts are on vacation right now, so it'll be oh, me yes. again. Yeah, it'll be but, Tanya uh, for a little while. It, yep, that's, that's all good. Fine. Everyone needs to take a vacation. That's so. right. Yeah. Uh, Except Garcia. for cats, because they're always on vacation. Oh, right? they don't want to miss a show. No. They want their treats. Oh, no, they know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so have a good night, everyone, yes. and we will see you very soon. Yes, oh, bye. actually, oh. Uh, should we hand it off a yeah. bit? Is uh, uh, I think he Atari is. Beer Pong still playing? I saw him start it up. He's like every he night of the week. He plays pretty I long. Yeah. So let's uh, see if he's still playing. Still on there. Um, oh, yeah, he is. So we're going to send you off to another Atari player. Yes. I'm, I, I'm there are lots raid. of them out there. So we got a raid ourselves. Yes. We should pass it on to our friend Atari Beer Pong. And um, so you have a great night and uh, watch some Atari Beer Pong. He usually plays Atari ST games yes, yeah. and uh, some other random games. Yeah. So we will see you uh, tomorrow night or Friday night. And That's we'll right. see you then. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.